like to start early. All right, that is got us up and running. Like to start early. Oops, let me mute my All game right. sound like an idiot. There we go. Okay, we are ready for Friday night D and D with the module Chapel on the Cliffs. I think it'll be our last one. Not saying anything, <laughs> but I think we're close either way. It's like on the precipice. It could go bad or it could go good, depending on the choices they make. Anyway, let's uh, well, let's get introductions real, uh, out of the way and a quick recap, and then we will see what happens here. We'll start with uh, Selimar. Selimar is your arcane wizard of magic and power and glory and all that is great. Turkirk. Uh, Turkirk is your paladin who defiled the holy hand. <laughs> and then he did. Krakaz. Krakaz is our enlarged uh, arcane dragonborn cleric and he is feels very satisfied with his size right now. <laughs> All right, Del. I am Del Silverfrond, a Wood Elf Ranger. And if last week taught Selmar anything, it's I'm completely gullible. Oh. <laughs> and Armay. Yeah, Armay will be your half elf rogue, who turns out isn't very good at sneaking, <laughs> picking locks, or detecting traps, but you know, whatever. I said. Apparently, you're related to uh, my character on Wednesday night some, in some distant form or fashion. We didn't go to the right rogue school, apparently. Um, totally, yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right, folks. Well, we find ourselves still in the chapel. Um, uh, the uh, area is surrounded uh, by skeletons that have uh, dug their way back out of the graves uh, we are in the middle of the day. Um, for some reason, I bet you have discovered, you know, um, known that by stepping into the chapel, um, you have found yourself, um, the skeletons begin to come out. Uh, and found, uh, a, working in there, you found, got downstairs, bashed through the door. Actually, I think Selimar used his trans, what did you use, a trans... Transmutation. Transmutation, yes. And transmuted some of the stone door into wood and bashed to that, only to be greeted by a big blue dude, a big blue man, um, who y'all fought. And um, he, his body, his corpse is now laying in the hallway down there. Um, and you found a ring on him that uh, I believe, Arme, you said you have. And we have the idol that was stored in the room with him, a big glowing face looking idol. Let's put that. Where's my artwork for that? Our lovely idol with big blue eyes. and But it's not blue right now. It's it. Well, I will say it looks kind of like that in the picture and that it's not beaconing out, but it is semi-glowing and pulsing a little bit inside. Um, and y'all are up on the top trying, you know, tr uh, trying to figure out your next step. Uh, and... We're out of we're kind of we're out of combat right now unless y'all decide to step foot out of the chapel I guess and somehow some way make it through you like I said if you look out there on all sides it looks to be close to over a hundred or so skeletons have now surrounded the chapel. And with that being said, we will pick up gameplay. What's what's the plan? Well, someone's going to sit on the bench and be like, "All right, Paladin, defile this one. See if it stops working." <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yep. oh. So we have heard that at night um, that blue guy used to put that head on the altar and a bell would ring and all those skeleton zombie things would go wandering about the countryside. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if we could make them go away by doing something similar. Yes, by all means, let us uh, perform the evil ritual. I know, right? 
for nothing science. Nothing ever, ever came. Nothing bad ever came from a bunch of amateurs participating in an evil ritual they don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not supposed to. I'm not. I'm not laughing. This is not funny. This is serious. <coughs> so you want to try talking to the, the skeletons instead? <laughs> Salamar looks around. And is like, well, we'll have the paladin go out, and while they're busy eating him and peeling the flesh from his bones, Unplug I shall stroll my, out. Darn it! Unplug my headphones. Hold on. I right, get my shit together here. What happened? I missed something. I had on headphones came unplugged. Sel no? Selimar suggested that we uh, send the paladin outside, and then while the uh, skeletons are peeling the flesh from his bones, we all make our way out. We haven't found any information on how to destroy this thing yet, um, but all we do know is that we need to destroy it somehow. Well, I think uh, you've hit it so far, right? I believe. What, crack, didn't you try to use your... Yeah, I was trying to crush it with the mace. And it just ricocheted off of it. Right. The mermaid at some point told us, I think, that it was previously belonging to the drowned ones. Right. I wonder if that's the, pe the, the ghost ship people. I wonder if dealing with that would help this issue again we still have to get past the skeletons but she did also mention the three-fingered man is or his ghost is looking for something out there and that his whole self was tied in with the altar so maybe if we give him back the skull he can mosey on out and, and what take do you have him. and you, don't you oh have... we do have we do have access to his bones though somebody has them in their pack yeah i was gonna yeah. say it was crack don't you have them yeah. yeah. I yeah. actually was going to place him back um, where we found him just because um, I don't know what he has to do with this yet. So. Yeah, and like I said, you know, yeah. So make sure you understand that, yeah, the bones, the hand of the bones you have, the, it was missing uh, fingers. And the mermaid told you that there's a missing the, the dude out in the boat is missing fingers too the and somehow way. he's tied into the whole thing so you're thinking we should give him the idol if he's willing to take it away at this point I'd be fine with that we were only paid to get them out of here right so are we giving it putting his bones back and giving the idol to the skeleton on the floor or are we trying to take it to the guy in the boat i bet you would take it to the guy in the boat so again we have to get past the skeleton so <laughs> fine well again i have an invisibility spell saved so i'm okay the rest of y'all well it was nice traveling with you well they're skeletons <laughs> what makes you think they they care whether they can see you or not we were also told that they can't come in here. No. Right? I, mm. I got food for a couple days, but how long you want to stay here? Well, I don't know well, you were I, told. You've noticed that they have they don't come in here. You were told that Richard, he could never come in here. He was for, he was he was forbidden to come in. We can he also do the same thing as we did last time. Everyone get out and I'll try and turn on holy and hope for the best that I make it out. Right. Um, I think I have a backup um, on turn also, but um, it's not as high of a DC as yours, so it's not going to be as effective. But yeah, and, and I'll play it out just so you know and how ahead of time. Um, with there being so many there, it'll be a percentage roll up and over. So definitely would say half would be the minimum amount based on in your percentage roll. If it's higher than that, then 50%, then that will be the number that are turned out of uh, my count of how many I know skeletons are there. Just so you know. All right. So they won't all get turned because the percentages are there. I would think to be fair, 
but I'm not going to have, you know, I'm not going to lay up a hundred damn in the combat tracker. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, if I roll above a 90 <laughs> and ignore Thanks. that, they say that again, Skip. What's that? Uh, what if I roll above a ninety and if you're ignore 90, the DRM? That's my other account. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, no, if you if you if it's high enough, then yeah, I'll have skeletons that are that'll come onto the tracker easy enough. I'm just you know I'm just saying you know the the minimum that are going to show up here all of a sudden are going to be you know uh, not turned is you know or maximum I should say would be fifty of them. <laughs> so you know that's the odds I'm playing out here for you. All right. Well, uh, I can kill a solid three. <laughs> but there's probably a hundred out there at this point. Oh, there's you're you're, you're pretty definite. It's at least a hundred out there. I feel like we're missing some important information because we've been to all the. I don't know. We haven't really searched the town well, but we don't have information on how to destroy this thing and and what Richard and the mermaid and like this fishing guy has to do with everything. Well, I can the swim. Mounds. The only thing that, so I'm trying to, remember, just to recap to you, since we, it's been, you know, we, it's been a few days and all that. Um, Richard, yeah, definitely believes that, that the evil is tied to the idol for some reason. And he, um, you know, explained what he has seen at night. Um, the mermaid has, you know, um, seen the fishing boat out there um, at night. Um, moving around, and she has heard very faintly every now and then, is it here? I can't find it. Where'd it go? You know, in soft whispers as the man in the boat is throwing a net out into the water. Um, and in here, uh, you uh, found the, the, the hand, but then the, yeah, but the, you definitely believe that the altar in front of... Uh, the dead where the body was, the skeleton was, is where the idol would go. And the bell that you think you hear was up is from the tower. Which we can't get up to, right? Yeah, no, Dell's gone up. Yeah, you could go up the tower. Is that stairwell going up on the south part of the and you can look out because you can see the bells up there and you can look out and you can see some of the, how this y'all were watching the skeletons from a little bit of you you know, you've got a higher vantage point from there to a little bit. I feel like we even rang the bell once before. Mm -hmm. Not that it did anything. It didn't. It sounded pretty. Did we search the tower? Is there anything up there? No, there's nothing at all. Just a platform and, the, and then the rope up to the bell. That's all. Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell these guys, I can swim very well. E even in my armor. I was a sailor for a long time wearing this shit. So if we got to go find a fisherman, return his hand to him. Or his idol, depending on what the case may be, because we don't have enough information. We could probably do this, no problem. So, I feel like there's no harm in trying to give it to the skeleton while it's here and see if he walks away with it. Yeah, the hand or the artifact? The uh, idol. idol. Okay. I'd be down for that. Um, crack to Kirk. Give me perception rolls, please. Yes, sir. In the tower, or nah. Too late. Tower through in the tower. That's fine. One second. Why do I have disadvantage on perception checks? Because you're exhausted. exhaustion. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> yep. uh, let's take a look here. Okay, just checking. You perceive nothing. <laughs> that sounds from here. Mm, yeah, don't, yeah. You like that ambiguity? Because <laughs> right, there so, was nothing to perceive. That's right. Do we try yes. and rush out the front door across the bridge and then get set up to go see the... I think we're uh, going to touch the skeleton inappropriately with the... I mean, appropriately with the idol... <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to rub people off. I mean, rub off on people. <laughs> can can we rappel down? Is this this is a chapel on a cliff? Can we? Oh, it's in the middle of. You've got graveyards and and all the way around. There's not. You, you could. 
there's no it's not by the side of the cliff of close enough to be able to jump okay. off and go down now oh, okay so did we fully search um the chapel and that little room downstairs down yes y'all went in there and found um let me the a uh, bunch of fluid i think it's in the party sheet should be let's take a look real quick um The doo -doo -doo, downstairs, um, the font's not very large, along one wall, a shelf cluttered with odds and ends of woodworks and stoneworks left over from when they renovated probably sometime long ago. You found uh, on the shelf where it was kind of a little spot on the shelf that was miss you know, it was kind of dust was all around it, but there you could see something was sitting on it and it looks like the idol would sit there. You know, it was, it was a spot on it that wasn't as dusty as the rest. Um, and, um, there's some barrels of just rotted grain, dis disintegrated, dis disintegrated rope, old coal. Some of it was kind of burnt because you fired into, you know, a fire into the, into the hole that set the coal on fire that was laying on the ground there and just refuse that's been there forever. That's what you found there. You found the trink, all the other stuff that's in there came from the borrow mound. Oh wow! I I didn't even notice those trinkets or. Mm -hmm. wow. That's an unidentified item, or is that intentional? Uh, <laughs> it's the axe. Idle, yeah. doesn't oh, it? Okay. Uh, uh, and the unidentified item should be the axe we got from the bar mount. That would be it's yeah it's just a type should just show battle axe does it not? Yeah, unidentified says, item. Unidentified item. There's a hatchet. I, no, no, they have the. I thought that they would non ID name would be Battle Axe. That this Fantasy Grounds would show this. So if I save this. That's his Battle Axe. And okay, I so I have to key that in. Oops, well, there's another thing I need to add to the module that I goofed up on. Okay. Yeah, it says Battle Axe, but it's still not identified. That's right, because, well, yeah. it's, yep, no one's identified it yet. So who does have the idol then? I, I guess I would say Crack has, has been trying to destroy it. So. Yeah, he had it last. Let's put it that way. We'll just say he's okay. got it in his hand. And I think he has the bones, maybe. In a bag. We could just mm -hmm. try putting it all together. Yeah, Crack has will um, go ahead and place the bones with the idol and see if um, anything happens. All you uh, hear and see is skeletons in the courtyard and it, you just y'all kind of sit and look at it and we're waiting waiting Bueller Bueller <laughs> nothing happens all right dumb idea we'll move on my favorite sound <laughs> <laughs> I will resist the urge to use bread station at this point to make the bones <laughs> rattle. <laughs> All right. All right. So are we going to try to make a run for it? Before we, before we run. And where uh, are we going? Yeah, that and then what's, what's the, are, is it, are we running to take a rest and take another shot at it or what's the goal? The uh, boat at night, personally. Yeah, we know we can't get a, a decent rest around town. Um, but we can at uh, what's his face's compound, right? Richards. Well, even Richards, we were unable to get rid of like exhaustion and such. Yeah, oh, so, like and, 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 we, and remember, we're there on our our chase because this will if you do go out the rule in the chase was you were able to um use the dash action of number of times of three plus your con modifier as you begin to run away and <clears throat> proceed I because think, i think the only the last place we actually slept decently well was uh at the borrow mounds uh-huh. That's correct. Except, except for me. Well, we did. Up all night. 
right? Yeah, except for Kirk. That's right. So, so oh, because you were holding the door, right? That's right, sir. Yeah. He said hold door all night long, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm down for whatever, guys. Whatever the smarter folk want to do is fine with me. I'll reiterate what he just said, because, yeah, that's totally not my game. I, we... I'm good at fighting and swimming. Should we wait here until morning? I, I know the skeletons are still out there, but maybe that would be safer to go out during the day than you, at night. Well, it is day, isn't it? It is day. It's day. Yeah, you're in the middle of the day right now. And they came out. They the skeleton you have twice now, and this one now because you're surrounded. But is it, they came up out of the graves as soon as y'all entered the chapel. If Should we can we? make it across the bridge, last time they gave up. Let's go for it. Yeah, we might as well run back to town. Uh, maybe maybe Richard has something to do with it. I don't know. Tuck the idol in somewhere. Um, Crack, give me another perception roll, please. As you were at the altar. Never mind. As you're uh, moving to the, um, the uh, front door... <laughs> You're gonna Wait, love I this. Think, what? Something has to do with this altar here. I don't know. The Smash it to pieces. <laughs> All right. What about the altar? Did we ever investigate it or give it a good looking at? I don't think so. It's here. Okay. This is all that you see of it. Um, Can I give Crack assistance in uh, examining the altar again? Yeah, that would be awesome. Go right ahead. Give me a uh, religion check, crack. With advantage? If you're assisting them. Yes. You got to be over by them. I will do that. Hey, buddy. Arme, give me a... Arme, while he's doing that, give me a perception check. Okay, so the altar looks like a, you know, a simple, um, you know, chapel-like depiction. You know, it's a setup for ceremonies, for vestments, things like that. And, uh, you know, it's very simple. There's nothing, you know, ornate about it. But you know, or you believe, because of the way it's set and all that, that this chapel has been consecrated. It's a holy place. And it might have to do with the, you know, everything about it. You, you know, there's nothing evil that you can feel from the altar itself. And Arme, you hear something moving in the hallway and the stairwell down below you. I you hear, do. You oh, some, I'm going to go have a look. You're gonna, you hear I'm some not grunting. real good with doors, but I'm going to look anyway. Uh, Stealthily? Well, I think Stealthily? the door was smashed open, wasn't it? It's been... Yeah, it's was, been removed. Cause yeah, the door... The, the, you're looking out. down... You're looking down the stairwell, and you see our lovely blue man moving, rising up. His wounds are healing in front of you, and he is beginning to stir and crawl and picking himself up as he comes up the stairwells and he looks up at you with eyes glowing again and his mouth opening with his big sharp pointy teeth guys we're either going to have to fight this one again or get help past the skeletons but we need to move <laughs> oh uncle Kill morton Uncle Morton, what's happened to you? Yes, I would. Uh, I would uh, need uh, initiative rolls from everybody, please. You're welcome. <laughs> Come on! Oh, what am I doing? Put that back. I gotta roll initiative first. Come on! There we go.
Here he comes, folks. All right, Selimar. We are back in combat as he's rising up. He is at the bottom of the stairwell, standing up at this moment. Well, I'm going to come here, and uh, I will ready a firebolt for when he pokes his pretty little head up. All right, Kirk. I'm going to unzip, move my sacred hand to the side, and start peeing down the stairwell. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of paladin are you? The kind that has been mentally disturbed for years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's to say the least. <laughs> I've seen action? some shit, man. I've seen some shit. Oh, okay. All right. Del, what are you doing? I will uh, backstep here and um, ready uh, an arrow, an action, a okay. shot. When he sees and, his um, Understood. Uh, I have the uh, effect on. If he's not injured, I need that off. He is not injured. Yeah, I got you. He looks like that he is fully healed. Okay, and then I will pass it up. You had something, Sal? I was just saying, that's one of the things we were talking about in my other group, is that it would be nice if players had the ability to remove their own effects. Yeah, right, yep. Yeah. Uh, Arme, what are you doing? As he's looking up at you with a evil grin. So I can see him down the stairs. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, yes, you can. All right. Well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot him with my short bow then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as um, as P is sprinkling down <laughs> on his head, freshly showered. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Slick Willy. Uh, it's a hit. Now, would you say I got sneak attack because he hasn't gone yet? N not, no, because no. he can see me. Yes, yes, that's right. Unfortunately, he's Dang looking right it. at you, and no one's close to him within five feet. Yeah, I'm just trying. I, I, I appreciate He might it. be distracted. He's got something in his eye, apparently, at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Pineapple, I mean. But, hey, she got a hit, though. There you go. You stuck an arrow in him. And he, he definitely feels that. I'll put my effect back on myself. There you go. And anything else for me? What, oh, what level are we? Do I have a, a, a multi-attack? No, I don't. No, you don't. You're third. No, I got nothing else then. Uh, so, um, okay. So he basically lifts himself up and begins to walk up the stairs and you're right there in his view how lucky yep. of you okay and um are you on the stairwells or on the landing uh, i on believe the, i'm on the landing okay so i'll put you i'm gonna put you right here so to speak so that basically he's gonna stand up that will give everybody that had held actions, you'll see the upper part of his head and, you know, torso somewhat as he stands up and comes up in the stairwell. So if you want to roll your attacks, you may go ahead and do so. Okay. And he will bite down on the rogue. Hitting her, bite, biting her for minimum damage, but still. And then he will rake claws across. Oh, it misses because he can't see. He's got this stinging in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> crack. Uh, crack will move up to the uh, staircase. and He will look down into uh, upon the blue man and be like, Why have you not died yet, you fiend? And I guess he will um, strike him with his 
his mace. And he has an answer for you. D does he speak at all? Or can he nope. speak to us or does he just roar? Okay. He just make a noise. Um, I will actually, I will cast uh, my sacred flame at him. Let's see how that does. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was a fa that was a that was a saving throw. I saw the one going. Oh man, you just missed him dead. My bad. <laughs> I was like, damn, that sucked. <laughs> you were like right on top of him. Couldn't hit him. <laughs> All right, Cell, back up to you. Top uh, of the order. I'm going to kill it and kill it with fire. That's, that's a hit. Oh, almost had a nine there. And continue just relaxing back here and where it's nice and safe. <laughs> okay. You go, guys. Take that damage for me. To Kirk. I'm going to try and smash him in the top of the head with my Warhammer. Okay. With no attempt to button back up. No, uh, you got your. He's free hanging in the wind there. And that was a hit. Gives me battle effectiveness. And that'll be mm -hmm. my turn, sir. All right, Dell. I will take another shot. Oh. Oh, wow. There's all the skeletons that you hear moaning and groaning. Arme. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at my ring and give. Selmar sideways look. <laughs> hey, hey, there's only so much magic can do. This this shouldn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, right. Imagine if you hadn't had the ring. Yes, I know. I had to snap my bow. Thank you, Selmar. <laughs> All right. Uh, what was that the image where they draw back the bow and let go of the uh, actual bow itself instead of the arrow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I'll uh, bonus action uh, disengage first. Yeah, th then I have to, you know, with that being said, with all that's going on, it will be the. So. <laughs> with this group. Right, All I'll, right. I'll take another go at him with the uh, short bow. Okay. Oh, missed two. Your hands may have been a little wet. You know, um, there's. It happens when when somebody that gets peed on and then yeah, yeah. paws at you. All right, so our boy, he will. <laughs> Come out one second. I'm going to move his token over here as he steps out and turns to see his main target will be the big white dragonborn. Now, how long does enlarge last? Um, Let me double check. I think it's a minute. It probably would have yeah. fallen off. Yeah, actually, it's, yeah that's what I'm saying. I need to pull. We, uh, it's not to be mean, crack, but it's. Wee. So, all right. So he will try to chomp down on some dragonborn. Gets a chomp of skin and then swipes at you. He well, he doesn't like his claw attacks. All right, crack. All right, crack is going to take another smack at this guy. Mm. Sell. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Nope. 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 <laughs> Apparently, everybody was a little off with the. I, I meant to do that. It makes everyone else look better. The dampness in the room. All right. Tarkirk's good. You'll have up. to. Well, you're standing. Sorry. You, if you make that move, you would have fallen straight oh, down into the stairwell. Down the stairs. <laughs> All right. Just so you know. All uh, right. Can I move to the right side of crack? Yeah. You know, you can move through him. I allow that. I, I don't treat that as difficult terrain like that. You can move right through somebody. So. All right. Well, I'm going to move to the right side of crack while beginning the windmill process and reach out and touch crack for a cure wounds. Thank you. And that will be my turn, sir. Okay. Uh, if I have 
it, would this be a disadvantage shot from here? No, he, he would have some cover. It'd be at a negative two because your boys are in are in front of you. The, all I would just say is my typical don't roll a one. All right, I think I will move to here. There, you will give you line of sight. Shot. Yep. Okay. And we'll try this again. That would be a hit. Know. Nicely done. No, I'm just gonna pat sell them Same on. deal for you. You've got huh. two big loafs in front of you between it, them and the blue man. Yeah. Yeah, but I think if I move over here. That'll work. And you will have sneak attack ability now. Awesome. That would be a hit. Not bad. Well, he turns. He has another creature, and he will bite down on Kirk, hitting, and then tries to claw to knock him out of the way. Oh, we got a hit there. Oh, Kirk goes down. The paladin is fallen. Crack. Crack will uh, summon Bahamut's healing power to um, rise to Kirk. With a cure wounds level two. Oh. Bahamut, where are you? We need your help right now. This bastard won't go down. Oh, he still will this. Oh, why is Selimar dead? I don't know. What? Um. What the heck? Uh, I don't know. You don't have. You didn't have any damage, right? No. What happened he here? He what? just cared for him that much. Crack. And here, I'm no, I didn't this. take any damage on the second one. Apparently. What the heck just happened here? Um. Because I all of a sudden, brother. Oh, I don't know. Hold on. Okay. Okay, he's not dead. Um, so I don't know if I hit something by chance. So, Selimar, <laughs> you're zero. To Kirk's okay. at 28. Yes, sir. But now we did a cure wounds to him, right? And that would be, then that would have put that at, and back to that. Um,. And it is, okay, that got it. I don't know what that is, unless I just did something to my keyboard and not paying attention. All right. Do you use your middle scroll button on the mouse? No, my, 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 I was moving around my armrest thing flipped up, and I guess it must have hit the num lock, I mean, the number key. They did something, because it killed, it was trying to kill Brother Morton, too. So I, ki I got all that out of the way. Um, but that should take care of it there. You healed, you healed, you gave him some healing, and it's now... Um, but Selimar he, is not dead, so let me. And and he doesn't have a death save. Yeah, yeah, yeah I but, fixed it. I really cleared it. off. Yeah, so my bad. That was me, Selimar. I'm gonna step over here, get a nice long line inside of Mr. <laughs> Blue Man there. That'd be a hit. Ooh, die, there it goes. die with fire. He's going to uh, head over here and take a nice little relax. You got this, guys. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stand back up, and I'm gonna okay. take a swing. And if I hit, I would like to use divine smite. Uh, make the hit. That'll do it. Right, give me a second to apply um, Divine Smite. And my damage. Okay. Oof. And that will be my turn, sir. All right. Uh, okay, I guess I'm a little surprised he hasn't... 
He's wobbling. Fire He's off. wobbling. One more. Nice shot. Oh, yeah, there he is. And he goes down. And let me see. Guys, it seems like he's pretty likely to get back up again. What do we do with him? He, I could uh, cut his head off and throw it, it outside. It, he, his body hits the ground, you know, and falls. And he, then he also he just kind of rolls bleh, 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 pom, bom, bom, back down to the bottom of the stairwell again. Should we go down there and burn him or something? Yeah, let's try to get rid of them, because right now the skeletons aren't, don't seem to be a threat, as long as we don't leave. I wonder what hap would happen if we threw him out to the skeletons. I mean, that window's broken open and all. Can we send him out there in three pieces? We definitely can. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he looks big, but he's still just a medium. Um, hey, Sleep Thief. Um... You know, so he made him creature, so he's not too big. He's just bloated. I'm less concerned about his size and more concerned about him stitching himself back together. Uh, Crack will go ahead and use a level one cure wounds on Parker. Uh, awesome. <laughs> I appreciate that. Not necessary, but I appreciate that. I'll come down and get it when and I break. Okay, thanks. Thanks. I okay. also have my potions, fellas, and okay. I uh, would be more than happy to give them up to you. No, no. I got potions as well. I also have lay on hands. I just don't have any uh, spell slots left. Okay. So, yeah. No, we, we're all right. Um, so, what are we doing with it? Well, his body's down there at the bottom of the stairwell? Yeah, we're think... going to take him up and dismember him so that Make sure that he's not going to rise again and throw his body out of the, the uh, chapel. Okay. Is there um, an extent? Because you said like this, we're on consecrated ground. Does that consecration go below us? You have to ask the uh, cleric. Because what I'm worried about, uh, cleric and paladin, is... If we dismember this thing on consecrated ground, will that break consecration? I could take it outside and dismember it. I just How need is some it even sort of in cutting here? edge. Yeah, and like, what, how, how come he, his evil, can be in here if this place is consecrated? That doesn't make sense to me. Has so then, he ever actually come up all the way out of the thing? He might be like Richard, though. What do you he mean? has a certain area he can be in. Mm, good point. Um, what was the question? Has, has he ever actually come all the way into the upper floor? Well, you as well. I mean, the question: if you're assuming whether or not um, he is the one that's pus putting the idol on the altar and ringing the bell, well, some somebody has to be doing that at night. Yeah, and when he came up to fight us the first time. He was all the way in the room. Yeah, he stood up on. He was up on the landing at the top, in the, off the stairwell that last before he died, and then kind of flipped and rolled back down the stairs. Hmm. Yeah, and someone and don't forget, someone also had been cleaning one. this all, this place up a lot too. I'd be tempted to believe it was Richard, but he says he doesn't come up here. He's he's stat, he's told you he st stood outside the building and watched from the in the windows and watched some big blue dude put this the 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 angry face or whatever called the you know the uh, bad face on the altar and then the lights would start coming out of its eyes and it's it is glowing somewhat right now but not anything bright. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing with the puzzles. blue guy? Uh, All right, so Crack's gonna go bring the blue guy up and roll him out the window here. And skeleton pieces, or just and, chunk his body out to try to do your best to chunk it out. 
Um, I'll I'll take his head off and then throw him out. Okay. The body and the head out. All right, and it goes here. One second. And it lands. Plop. Did the there skeletons you. back up? The, it backed up somewhat, and then they kind of are still kind of uh, crawling, uh, you know, stepping on a crawling, tr you know. They, they try to move toward the window, and they stop as soon as they get to, you know, the, you know, in the line, so to speak, you know. And they, they don't put their hand through the, gla the open glass area. But that's like every other one of them, though. All, stepping they all on it. the blue guys. Yeah, they just kind of, yeah, they kind of stepping over them and all that. Yes. Oh, I totally forgot. Y'all are, um, yeah, I forgot. Y'all are also experiencing the nausea and headaches, and everything should be at a disadvantage. <laughs> I totally forgot that. What? All right. Yeah, that for last time you uh, um, you noticed that when um, you got near the idol and started to fight, that you started beginning feeling uh, nauseated inside and you were getting headaches. And ability checks, attacks, and saving throws are all made at disadvantage right now. So y'all got away with that kill. Got but I might sit over would it, it would have just been harder. It would have just been harder. Yes, correct. But I, and I'm not going to remove him from the. I mean, he's dead. He's dead. And his pe he's got two pieces. I just you know I'm, we just know that his body's right out there right now. So that's why I haven't removed him from the tracker. So. All right, I don't like this idol. plan now, guys. I think you put the idol back on the altar and we go talk to the fisherman. With the hand. What what time does the bell normally ring? At dusk. Should you guys don't want to stick rings? around in here to see who rings that bell? You don't think it was the blue guy that was doing it? I have no idea. Well, I just took a shit kicking, so I'm not too keen on... Sticking around to see if the blue guy is going to do anything. Are we taking the idol with us? I think we should, because I mean we have to destroy it either way. And... Well, and I think we thought we were giving it to the three-fingered guy's ghost, possibly. I believe that was the uh, the next goal, or yeah. All right, I'm ready. So we're going to try and bust out and deal with these skeletons? Which is going to get our butts kicked, too. So <laughs> just so you know. Yeah, at disadvantage, too. Yep, at disadvantage. I don't, I don't know. I mean, we can still put that head on the altar and try ringing the bell. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like something has to happen here. All right, let's, let's ring that bell, then. You put the all uh, the idol on the altar. Do Do you see any other options? No. We either plow through the skeletons or try this. Well, might as well try. I'm totally willing to plow through the skeletons, but all right. Might as well try will, first. Yeah, Krakas will basically put that idol on the uh, altar and see what happens and i believe it was supposed to be dusk because we were waiting for him to come out we couldn't get him out of the uh, downstairs room so we had to wait for him to uh, come out so it should be pretty close should to dark no y'all mm -hmm. you busted open the door and then well, he went back in yeah, because oh he, that's he right okay out. so it is getting to be dusk okay uh, it shouldn't be too long until okay, dark. Okay, so well, I let's let's just say it is getting dark now. Okay, well that changes. Okay, so, um, well, wow, um, they put the idol on uh, the altar, and um, it's, and I guess Dell, are you running over there to I guess pull on the bell cord? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, yeah but before I do that, I'm going to set my snare by the window. Uh, where we threw the corpse out. Okay. 
Well, so my snare, your look out there still laying there on the ground. Yeah, so he's out there. I'll put my snare here. I'll come over here to assist with the bell. Um, the and as you put the idol down and notice that uh, you know the sun is setting and all that. Even before you get to be pulling the bell, the idol begins to. Um, <clears throat> you see that the uh, it its mouth was kind of semi open. It was you know glowing and all that, but you then see its eyes open up and its mouth totally opens up, and the light now um, begins just to pour out and it's lighting up the whole chapel. And it's, you know, now blinding you all. And, you know, you can just feel the evil emanating from it. And the skeletons um, are just as agitated as they were. There was no change in them. But they are still, you know, as though knowing they can't get into the chapel. And they all watch and stare and move. As you move around, they, you can see groups of them follow each one of you. As you know, uh, in, in unison, like birds flying, you will see heads move and follow each one. And you all move in and out of the the windows, and they pull um, Brother Morton and his corpse back out of the way a little. That's over there, and then proceed to fill up. You know, what, where he kind of was with their, with their you know themselves, basically just surrounding the chapel, and that's what you notice at the moment in front of you. You didn't so even get we, the chance to ring the bell. Shall we ring the bell now though? You can. Might as well. All bing, right. I'll bing, yank bing. on that cord. Yep. Bing, bing, bing. You haven't, you, you may every now and then just, you may actually, you know, rise up in the arrow as you hold onto the rope, pulls you up and down and you're going, wee in the tower. Y'all hear Dell <laughs> having fun with the rope, and it just the bell just kind of dinglings, just like Dell. What Del. do I see the skeletons <laughs> Come doing? On. They just they like I said they still follow each and every one of you, and and groups of them move as y'all move around buildings. They kind of each, you know, keep locked on all of you. Crack is Noth going to try happens. to destroy the idol on the altar. You're gonna hit it with your. Battle axe or your warhammer? What do you have? Yeah, well, I'll crush it with my mace. Uh, uh you, idol or the altar? The idol. The you hit the idol. Um, you're gonna sideways. You're gonna smash down on it. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna smash down on it. Oh, oh, um, roll me uh, an attack roll. Just roll me straight up. Just throw it in the in the um. Okay, uh, you once again. It's like you took a baseball bat and hit a metal pole. Um, you rebounded off of it. Um, you thought the force almost could have broken your weapon. Nothing happened to the idol. It's still glowing and becoming ever and brighter, and it's filling up the chapel completely with this just nasty-looking blue-green light ghostly light just pouring out of it and out of the windows illuminating all the skeletons i'd like to move up to the tower that's not what i want i was looking where you know you know the picture this does it justice now Ooh, that is badass as hell all hell What did you say, Dell? Sorry, I missed that part. I want to move up to the tower and I want to look out, and see what's going on with that um, ship that's out there. You see a light bobbing out in the water, moving around, and there's something moving in the boat, and that's about it, as you can tell. It's far, what far kind away. Of, it's what it's what a kind little of fishing boat. boat. A little fishing boat, single like man a fishing one boat. man boat. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Hey, hey, Del, can you see across the river? Are the other skeletons uh, going away, too? 
Like in town? Like he, in town. He sees nothing. Well, it's dark, but there. I can see in dark. Yeah, but how far? For 60 feet. <laughs> so, well, no, but I, I can see 120 feet as it you're was dim. Way, that's way over there on the other side of the deal. There is, you know, there's nothing. There's nothing lit or moving over that you could tell all the way over there. You might. Now, even Richard doesn't even have a, a torch. He'd have no fire over there either. So Can I can I make a roll to sun, see if I get lucky? The moonlight, wait, wait. sure, sure. The, ch- the chapel's glowing. There's light because yes. we were able to see it, it when we were on the outside. Yeah, it's it's light, It's lit up the area around the graveyard to the bridge. Pretty much that yep. whole area is lit up. And oh, God damn it. Always, very dark. Always, it's easy always, to see always. the light. <laughs> when just, you're in I'm the light, it's you know very hard to see the dark. Maybe in the moonlight. You catch a building or a, a <laughs> subtle shadows of the town, and there seems to be nothing happening over in the town. Yeah, this this is why Duff has no problem with because <laughs> he knows I'm not going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, I really want to go see the sailor. All right, so, let's go. Are we in the middle the of the idol night? with us? The only yeah, time you're going to see be... him is in the night, because that's the only time he shows up. Yeah, we got what a boogie. Happens, what happens when we take the idol off the altar? Does the light go away? No, it's beaconing, and you're having trouble focusing, keeping your dinner down. Um, this, being so close to it, you are uh, definitely feeling the effects, all five of you, in this room. This is overpowering, beginning to overpower each and every one of you. Is it a visual thing, or is it's it in our soul? Internal, visual, your souls, your gut. Um, it is uh, over. It's uh, overbearing. Ignore that. I don't know no, why I have you're, that. I'm not worried about it. But yeah, like I said, it is. You're getting headaches now that are becoming the becoming on the verge of crippling, and you're beginning to see maybe shadows twisting over your field of vision, even as you look at each other in. The chapel. So I should we, we take the last. idol with us? Because because the fisherman's looking for something. You know, he keeps searching for something. Maybe if maybe we need to give the idol to him or something. Yeah, it's either that or we'll have to put it back on the shelf down in the thing downstairs. But we need to decide. Right. Well, okay. Well, so we'll take the idol with us then. All right. Before we leave. What I'm we gonna do? touch myself for a couple seconds. So I look away it. again. <laughs> oh, just wait. Actually, hold on. I gotta read something. Give me a second. I'm not sure. A bullet for one skill in the pelt. What are, What are we doing with the skull? I mean, the uh, idol. We're gonna take it with us to uh, the fisherman. How are you carrying it? I'll put it in the bag. When you put it in the bag, it definitely the light. Um, you know, blocks, you know, and kind of, um, you feel better. All of you begin to, you know, your vision kind of clears up some. It's still, you can still see it, you know, glowing in the bag, you know, but, um, you get a little bit of a, you know, uh, a, a break in the effects. I, I would like to pour the sand out of one of my oh, bags and yeah. stuff that bag into my other bag and then <laughs> hand it back. <laughs> and I'll hand him my pants so he can stuff those in the bag too. <laughs> and, and you notice that all the skeletons are now have turned uh, their gaze to crack. Ooh. Run, crack, run. Maybe he could command them. Okay, now, hold on. I I do have to touch myself though for a couple seconds. Oh my. Okay. Oh, hey. I'm mean, laying on laying hands on myself. Yep, I see it. What? And uh, <laughs> I'll be within crack space the whole time. So if anything's gonna come at him, I got him covered. Well, how about we take crack and have him walk to the back of the chapel and see if all the skeletons move away from the front door. Yeah, well, lean out the window and tell them to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> this poor chapel has never seen such desecration and... I mean, go away. <laughs> 
Go away, I will taunt you again. <laughs> um, y'all tell you, I'm waiting on y'all to make a decision. Tick tock, tick tock, me, um, night's chirping away on y'all. Let me test something. Let me, like, you guys stay back, and if I go to the front doors with the idol and, and open them, what does the what do the skeletons do to it? Do you they, open the door? Uh, no, I'm, actually, I'm gonna go to the window that we broke open. Watch out okay. for the trap. With the idol. Yeah, there's a trap there. Did you step in it? No. The, de the <laughs> gets, Del forgot to tell you it was there. Um, and you get ripped out the window um, with the trap. No, you uh, move over to the window. You have some of the skeletons. They begin to congregate. Um, a few a few of them will move around. And, you know, you get a large mass of them huddled here. You know, just bumping into each other. You know, reaching out for you, but not able to, you know, cross the foundation line. With, even with their hands, um, they're still all surrounding the deal. But you definitely can look at the other window, you know, as, uh, as looking out the other window, seeing a few, and they all are watching you. How good are you at football, Crack? Crack does not know this football. But how well can things. you throw? <laughs> Crack can throw a, an idol very far. This well, is going to sound like a split the party thing, but if you stay here, the skeletons might too. That's what I was wondering. Maybe you guys could have a free, uh, try to get away. Also, if you throw it to me and I attempt to turn the undead, like 50% of them, you might have a chance of getting back out. Yeah, that would be a plan too, because I also have, I can use my turn undead in, for emergencies too, so... So, um, if I'm sitting here with the idol and they open the door to leave, do the skeletons, are they aware of them or are they all focused on me? I don't know. You have to try it, I guess. I got a second question. How, like out of character, <laughs> how far would you let someone throw something out a door? We, even uh, with a high percentile dice, like best versus worst. Well, your throwing ability, I think, you know, you're talking, it's, I think there's actually a rule on it. I don't remember what it is, um, but, you know, you're probably looking, uh, if you talk, depending on the weight of the object, you know, how many feet it would go, but you've got a door here, you're going to chunk it. Um, it might go 30, 40, 50, feet. it depends on your throw. I'll give you, you know, the higher the percentage, the higher, the, the farther the throw. Um, also, guys, remember it's night, and um, the some um, the skeletons walk around at night anyway, so we still need to be cautious. And there is also the option that uh, me and the rogue are pretty quick. Yeah, I bet you I can dash more often than you can. And where are we going? Even once we get out of here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going uh, right to St. Sildelva, and I'm going to curl up with her <laughs> and go to sleep. Or lay down, anyways. Put her hand back. No, no, that's my hand forever. But I'm going to curl up next to her to show my appreciation for the hand. Have we ever, um, like, really investigated St. Sevilla's altar besides the hand? Or her, um, what is this, her sarcophagus? Or yeah, here, I'll put it, yeah, I'll put it back here. What you, you know, and you know the image, except for the hand, you know, is, you know, not there anymore, but. Yeah, I got that hand. It's mine forever. That's what you see on the altar, or the the shrine. Is what it's basically called. 
All right, guys. What's the plan? <laughs> Oh, thanks, dog. I forgot to turn that off. This isn't a replay. This is live. I'm waiting, folks. What's it gonna be? Crack just wants to throw this idol off the cliff. Sounds like a decent plan. Do we think we can get past the skeletons to do that? Uh, I think with Turk Kirk we might be able to. I think he's AFK for the moment. Yeah, for a second. But he was curling. I mean, what he was trying to curl up with the uh, on top of the altar, apparently. <laughs> uh huh. Like the hand just wasn't enough for him. Apparently not. He he's feeling one with her. He must be in love with the stone. How, what's what's your movement, uh, Army? I got thirty. All right. I think everybody's minimum of thirty. I'm thirty-five. Yeah, yeah. I knew I knew one or two of y'all had that. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just wondering if if the if the best course of action isn't for Turk Kirk and crack to use their turn to open up a path and then me and our may oh because do you get some kind of double dash our may double dash i no, don't think so she doesn't have like, no she has she has the um the ability to cunning action but that's just to be able to choose to dash um disengage or hide as yeah. my bonus action mm -hmm. so actually yeah. i could take take my move take yeah. a dash yes. and then take a dash as a bonus action which would get me to 90. Mm -hmm. so where are we going right well if the plan is to try to get the idol to the fisherman then if you and i i break free because we're quicker i mean you, you can still get 20 feet on me but I mean, I'll be right behind you. And I, I got his back, too. What's that? I said, I got your back. Because yeah, both but, of us can turn unholy, right? So we might as well move together. Well, right, but that's a, that's a one-time action, right? So if you guys open up the path, and our May takes the idol, and then her and I bolt, and then you guys will be moving just a little bit behind her and I. And then the, we try to get to where we can get the idol to the fishermen. So we're headed for the docks then? Yeah, I suppose. Can you share the global map, please? Sure can. Be more than glad to. Let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo. The regional map. Is this the one you're talking about? Or you want the town map? Uh, the one that has the like entire cliff face. Oh no, we, this is the one, yeah. Because right about there is where we were told the mermaid cave was. And she didn't specify where the guy Oops. was. No, she over there. she's actually uh, yeah it was semi under the chapel in this in this little this little nook area is where she was at so I used the other map to show it was just play but they're really coming around and then because from here she has a pretty good view vantage point of the um you know kind of seeing out and so you know That's she, she's able to kind of see you know all of this. And where's the town on the map? Like right That's where that Kenmouth. is. No, Kenmouth is the name of the town. It's you know the drawing you've got because here's the other map which okay. you know, they kind of they got to sync up a little bit. But this one, you're off the chapel's off the map to the far east, and you come across the bridge and run, and so you would come down to the docks where y'all have your makeshift raft. I would assume is still there, 
you know, and then from there you have to make your way out and you made your way out and over to go see the mermaid. What, what were you thinking to Kirk though, tossing it off the cliff or, or jumping? Uh, for myself, jumping, if you guys toss it, I'll attempt to grab it once I hit the water. But the the whole idol thing is our problem, and I don't know how to protect it. I don't know that we want to protect it so much as destroy it, but yes, I get where you're going. Yeah, because that's they're focusing on it, right? So... We might have to make a run and toss it, but I don't think it's a good idea to lose it either. Well, the, the cliff edge, I suppose, is closer than the uh, bridge and running through town to the docks, but, you know, it's not like I can swim once I hit the water. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Like, I, I can swim very well. Well, you have your. Don't forget, you have your boat or the raft that you made. Don't forget that. That's still down there. Y'all used it to go visit yeah. the mermaid. Yeah, so. but if we if we uh, choose the raft, we have to run across the bridge and like mm -hmm. through part of the town. But you but, don't have to go through much of the town. I mean, it is on the edge. Yep. We could do a quick pass and. I run out, you toss it to me, I go jump off the cliff and hope for Christ that uh, the dice roll well and you guys can come pick me up. That's if you survive the jump. Yes, that's if I survive the jump. How high up are we from the ocean? Uh, I would definitely say it's probably a good 100 feet or better. Every 10 feet of drop is a d6 of damage. Only if I hit solid ground. <laughs> you, you know better. And now, yes, I Kirk. understand water is pretty <laughs> solid. I know. And, I've wiped out on a tube before. Water can be pretty solid. Plus it works for armor. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. We never saw what happened to him. I think we should bolt. Yeah. All, all together toward the docks? Well, I think... I think our May should hold the uh, the idol because she is by far the quickest. Yeah, but I can only do that for, what, five uh, dashes. I don't yeah. know how far it is across the bridge. And, you know, uh, well, you look at the, the map, will kind of give you a way. So if, let's take a look. If we're talking 50 feet, how many, how long, how big is your, 90 feet, racially? Is that what we're talking about? Yep. So you're uh, talking 450 feet. Yeah, so that's not that's almost 100 feet right here. The line. Uh, can you reshare the map? I closed yeah, it. Like yeah, I'm bringing it up right now. I was trying to move it, so. Uh, quit. Hold on a second. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on, my bad. Whoa. My bad, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Delete the mask. Oh, I would love this mod. Alright. Um, why can't I grab Quit I want to grab my point my there we go. So you know you've got a dash action for you roughly would probably get you from the front door to the bridge. Then you've got roughly it looks like you can get mainly across the bridge and then you're going to get down you know, I see three and then let's see, this is going to be roughly four. Yeah, you've got your five dashes would probably get you to the docks. Okay. I also have five dashes, so. But she's running at 90, you're running at 60. This is true. Yeah, goddamn. <laughs> and, and once I get to the dock and the boat, I guess I just wait for you guys. Yep, I guess that's really the ideal option we have. 
And and we said if we do the dashes like that, um, we can't do it again until when we you, rest. Yeah, have you have to you so the dash option will give you. Let me bring it up. I'll read it again. Um, you number during the dash three times three plus your con modifier. A participant can only take one free dash dash action per round on their turn. Uh, you can can take more free dash actions during the chase, but each time you do so, you must succeed a DC con check. Um, and then, yeah, you would have to um, get all that back afterwards would be after a long rest. Yes. Okay, so this is a one shot at this, guys. Because we haven't been able to rest here really at all. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, so we're our job is going to be to kind of you know, mess with any skeletons in your way as we as we move up a little more slowly behind you. So, do I blow my uh, turn the unholy right early? I think or you need I to blow. One of you guys needs to her. blow it so she can get out the door clean. Otherwise, she's going to take so many attacks of opportunity that she might end up just falling right there at the front door. She's also got her disengage. Too. Not if she takes the dash. Yeah, I can't do both. So I, I suppose once we kick, once we move out the front door, she's going to have to make it as to what's more beneficial, distance or dodging. And Selimar will make her invisible before she runs as well. Yeah, well, there, there's that. That's so beautiful. I feel like they're going to be fixated on that idol regardless of whether they can see me or not. It, it, it's got to be better than nothing. Yep, it'll be worth a try. I'm game. You guys? <laughs> so, uh, what, what order? We just need to wait, establish wait, wait. the order Duff of Wait, wait, wait. is movement. laughing again. <laughs> I'm just listening to y'all thinking it all out. Uh, no, I'm just, uh, we'll see what happens. So, when so here's it. the thing. I say you guys let me bolt out for the first 120 feet and then if crack can uh use his channel divinity to turn the unholy once she hits the 20 120 feet mark i can blow mine that gives her a slightly better chance yep yeah i'll use mine first okay sounds good sounds like we got a plan so who's moving first and what are we doing so I think the, the order of operations is Selmar cast invisibility, Crack do, turns undead, to Kirk bolts out 120 feet, Armay then dashes out as far as she can. I'll be a right on her heels, and then, and then we, we go from Kirk there. Tur uses turn unholy. So he's casting, but Selmar's casting an, an, uh, invisibility on you. On our May. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. And, and I've got the, I've got the football. Okay, so you, they're giving you the bag, okay, the hot potato, and. So okay. when she just winks out of existence, what do the skeletons in the window do? Because her and everything she's carrying is now invisible, including the uh, little statue. Yep, it is, uh, but you will notice that the skeletons keep an eye on where they, where the bag, you guys think the bag is at on her body. I say we go, go, go. This is the time right. we got. Crack, will you do the honors before I bolt out the door? Yes, sir. So... Right as we begin to open the door, Crack will unleash his um, turn undead. Okay. So the first one, knowing that we're playing... Okay, I have... Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. You're going to need to roll me a percentile roll. You can just throw it out there in the deal. Anything above 50%, I will use to deduct from the number of skeletons that are there. Okay. 56 percent all right so i have to do my math which i'm not good at and let me check 
<laughs> it's, it's 106 if there's 200. No, 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 just you. you. That's what you hope I do. Hold on. I no, have no I'm just I saying I'm good number. at math. Yeah, I know. Okay. Oh, that's well. No, no, show off. Don't show off. On, don't show up the DM. You know better. Not a hundred. Not a hundred. Uh, never could and never will. <laughs> All right. Let me see. I'm trying to. Where is? All right. Damn it! I had it right in front of me. Mister. Okay. Okay. There's the number. And and. As luck would have it, they're all right in front of the when they and those are the ones that are affected. Okay. So a portion of them begin to turn and move away. There is this many left. You look you definitely got half of them begin to move away, um, backing away from the chapel. Um but you're probably looking at a good tree. How big? How far is the distance of? Um, it's thirty. Turn feet. undead. Thir thirty feet. Yes, sir. That they have to hear of your voice, correct? Right. Um, okay. Um, well, they're definitely in the thirty feet range. I'm just trying to see, but that too. The issue is that thirty feet doesn't cover the other side of the chapel. And they're all over there too. So actually, that, actually, your number would be higher. Um, but well, we're that's what we're hoping that we can outrun. Yeah. The yeah so I've got I've got easily twenty skeletons sitting in front of you still, and more. There are ones that are turning and moving back away from the chapel, and you see ones that haven't been turned are moving along the chapel coming toward the front door but i've got 20 actually sorry 15 15 in front of you that you can kind of count i uh, shit i'm still gonna take my chances uh, and try and go my 120 feet well uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, just now and you open the door and you see them stepping to the door but they do not enter the door but they are definitely the issue is is that you can't get past them actually you know what I they would have back I'll have some kind of back away um, because the turning would have moved them around a little bit that wouldn't have but the ones that turned, you got a split reaction to try to make a decision because they're the ones that are turning are moving away, but the ones that aren't have begun to fill up the gap for those that are. You see what I'm saying? That all right? I'll see that and I'll do this. I'll fucking blow my turn on holy immediately. Actually, hold on, hold on. Let me read something. Sorry, guys. No, it's okay. This is a little different, difficult with all the skeletons on a map and all that. I have a, a ch I'm chat. I'm actually chatting with the developer. I think tomorrow, talk about expanding this out a little bit. Oh, there's yeah. a lot more Bigger than that. Pineapples. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Talking about stuff. It's it, the encounter and all that with it, it, the issue. This was developed for tabletop, you know, and so there, he's kind of new to thinking on the online realm, um, and so. You know, with budget concerns and things like that that they have to deal with, you know, and the Kickstarter trying to get them to think a little bit on the this side. We need a probably I, sh I needed an overview map of the chapel with the graveyard area, and there isn't one. This is just really designed just for the building itself, but probably needed another map that gives you a little bit more layout to do what we're wanting to do here, you know. Um, and I think we needed, you know, a map for like Richard's place. You know, because stuff could have happened there. Um, same thing. Probably maybe not for the mermaid's cave, but it could be possible something that could happen down there. Um, 
All right, I'm going in and I'm going to use my turn unholy. Okay, you have those tar. There, uh, there they are. I wanted to uh, use sanctuary on her, but I don't have any spell slots left. And how do I target all in the combat tracker? You just control. I don't think I can. You well, you can just control click on each one of them. You've got um, there are f fourteen there. I don't know if there's a mass weighted target. Maybe sh that should be. I need to maybe say something to Doug about that. Is there a way to mass target a group? I know for the like? DM there is, but not for the player. All right, I see. One, and two, I three, don't four. have it coded. All right, you've got yourself targeted. Hold on. Um, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm you're missing skeleton. Nine, eight. Skeleton so seven, six, five. Skeleton four. Where is he at? Just, yeah, target skeleton four. You're missing him. Or, there you go. All right. Yeah, I got him. But uh, I don't have the save. Yeah, I don't have it coded. Okay, one second. So what we'll do is... Um, where's your... Uh, it's just a DC... What's your DC save for that? Um, DC 12 or... I I have plus two to charisma, so I don't know what it is. Eight, like it's ten, 10 plus my proficiency yeah. plus my charisma, right? Yeah, yeah, it's twelve. Okay, so what we want to do is roll your. Um, you've It'd got them fourteen. All. Yeah, there's fourteen rolls, but I need to code. No, no, he means the save is fourteen. Yeah, the save is fourteen. Charisma plus his uh, proficiency. Proficiency, yeah, plus uh, and ten, so it'd be a DC fourteen. Oh, I thought it started at 8. Okay. Are you sure about that? I thought it was 8 uh, plus proficiency plus your modifier. Give me three seconds, and I'll look yeah. it up. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to code it. Let's see. We need a bell. Let's do this real quick. We should have done this before. Turn on holy night. No, okay. Oh, he does. He's just got to input it in there. We need to actually... Um, let's see. It doesn't help me in uh, my channel divinity. Uh, but I have the PHB right next to me. I'll look up saving throws. I think, yeah. I think it starts at 8. Check that real quick. Because um, it's one or the other. We know that. The I'll just roll them real quick then. Just We'll do them one at a time. Well, God darn. I should have I coded that. My bad. Um, okay, if, this, if it counts as a spell casting save... It is spell save DC eight plus modifier plus wisdom That's right. modifier. That's. Then I thought it was wisdom for him. Yeah, because it's well, it depends on the paladin is. Oh no! His, I was reading. I was reading cleric. It's charisma. I was reading yeah. cleric. Yeah. So, and there's his. Yeah. So it's it's it will be a twelve. Yes, yeah. you're right, sir. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well, you can. Make the roll yourself if you want. Just roll a. You're going to. Um, no, not the D. Not a D12. But you're going to roll a D20, my friend, and we're oh. going to. Um, <laughs> do, do you want me to build a DC12? Yeah, save I'm trying to, check. yeah I, my brain's going blank for a second. Um, Here, I can build one real quick. Thank you for that. Add effect, and... It's pretty exciting. No, it's easy to do. I'm, I'm just sort of looking and going, crap, I can't remember what to do all of a sudden. I'm tired. Sorry. I'm Skeeter. Nice to meet you. Uh, DC 12 is what we're going for, right? That's correct. Yes, Close, darn you, close. Oh, it'd help if I didn't uh, have like eight million of them open. I know it's a brain fart.
My oh, guys, I forgot to cut it for target. My guys got mad at me last night because I had a brain fart. You're targeting me too. What? No, we didn't. What was that? No, uh, you no, just uh, y'all uh, caught me with my pants down. I wasn't prepared for last night. That's why it went south on us a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you <laughs> stole all our stuff. Uh, pretty much. I was not prepared, and I was like, "crap," and got called out on it at the end of the session. <laughs> so, and it, did, and it doesn't, you know. So, and it doesn't bother me at all. I, I want to be able, to, all of you guys, to be able to, you know, with the time that we invested in this, you know, you don't like something, we, and he was very nice enough to do it off camera, and we, you know, talk about it, and I was like, I, I have no excuse i wasn't rep prepped yet and i needed to get y'all from point a to point b and that was the best i got and it sucked and i apologize so what's the stat it goes against is it charisma or wisdom for he's, he's charisma um, no i meant yes. the their save what side uh, are they rolling it on? It's... Yeah, shit let me look it up it'll <laughs> say in that uh wisdom saving throw thank you um, you're so far ahead of me oh. There it goes. I didn't have the uh, wisdom in there, so it wasn't right. rolling. It just rolled it. And, and give me a second. I can actually put an effect on them. Yeah, I didn't build that, though. Let's see. Well, we've got... i look at all those rolls. One. Hold on. Don't worry about it. Two, three, four. Four saved. Okay. Out of 14. Out of 14. Four saved. And let me now move those that, all right. So, mm, tens, where's he at? All right, tens right in front of you. You have one right in front of you. Number 12 moves away here. Uh, forge, where's number 12? Now oh, this sucks. I'm trying to figure this all out. All right, he begins one, two, he moves that way. Then we have um, two, skeleton two, bales. He moves this way. Um, we have skeleton one, failed. Where is he at? He moves this way. We have skeleton 13 that failed. He moves this way. We have skeleton 7 failed. He moves this way. Skeleton 11 failed. He moves this way. Skeleton 3 fails. He moves this way. Unless you want to hit him. Um, oh, absolutely. No op shots. <laughs> just checking and making sure. Eight failed. Uh, number four did not. All right. He is right where he's at. Number nine failed. Moves away. Number six saved and number 14 failed Boom. so the the way attacks of opportunity work is there can it, if two people run by the same target he only gets he, one only gets one so he only he can only take the first one or correct he can only correct. take one you only get one reaction yes Okay, yeah, so you, you don't want to do that anyway, right? Because they're turned. absolutely not. I did what I could. No, what I'm what I'm asking for is, Arme, would you first? He'll take his attack of opportunity on me, and then you get a clear line out. Okay. Okay, so um, let's see which one is this. Now I have to hold on. Because you're on his turn. Because you open the door, I need to re-roll. Okay, brother. Okay, he's uh, he doesn't care. Let me roll their initiative roll, though. So I need to put them on the tracker right. And he was. Here's down there. All right. So it's basically um, to Kirk. It was your turn. 
So now we are. And now we're fucked because everyone rolled better. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then and then we do. So you ran out and did your turn. Are you going to continue to move or do anything else? Well, absolutely, I'm going to continue to move. Okay. Because I moved about five feet. Yeah, roughly. So I'm going to move past both these gentlemen. Okay, so they were And both... run my other 25 feet. So both okay. skeleton 10, skeleton 4 can get the reactions on That me. would be correct. So they'll do that real quick. Um, let me take a... There is skeleton 13 as a miss. Skeleton 10, sorry. And skeleton 4. We'll do the same thing. And they both whiffed on you, my friend. And All right, they, so I'm about 10 feet now past them. Now, you're past them, and that puts you... Um, if we come over here, I'm going to... I'm moving back and forth from maps, everybody. You are going to be... Um, Shit, I closed both other. That's okay. I'm got for the. I got it right now for the viewers. I'm just kind of. You're. Yeah, I'm not watching. I'm logged into your channel, but I'm not watching it. So. <laughs> no, you can the Ken Mouth player map. You should be able to open up a maps. You should have it if you go over to maps. And put, yeah, they're all unidentified. Yeah, every image unidentified. Map. Hey, hold on. Uh, yeah, when yeah. Fantasy Grounds updated there we go. three months ago. Yeah. Yes, there it is. Oh no, there's Sidelva's player map. That's the chapel map. They should rename this module Undead Rugby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they should both be they should be there now. I only have uh okay. Saint Sidelva's chapel. On just identify I me, mean, do they there? Yep. The other one you can see in your images list now because you put a label on it. I have five open to me, but not a no, map not available. a Kinmouth player map. No, sir. Give it a second. Oh Whoa. yeah! Look at that. Thanks, crew, for the subscription. Appreciate it, my friend. Um. Here, I'll reshare it to you so you get it in your view again. Everybody's going to pop it, but. All right, Thank you. and it's where it's this. You're coming down, and I'm going to put you kind of right there where the circle's at on the far right hand corner of the map. Okay? Yes, sir. That's where you're at. Okay, and then you can pass your turn. So these have turned and have moved on. Um, do they have to move again, or is that her? I can't remember if the turn. They can't get any closer. They to can't me. move. Well, they have to keep walking away. That yeah, they would definitely walk away. Um, I'm just gonna back them all up. They kind of move, but you've got the issue is is that there's some beginning to come around the corners of. Oh, I moved who? Oh shit, I moved one of them that wasn't supposed to be moved. We'll just. Are we? How, how are we on initiative for this? Because it seems like we should have re-rolled or some of I, these guys should have had like I'll surprise. Re I re-rolled them. Well, no, they you turned them, but there's still plenty of them that were in front of you. That's the issue. And so yeah, I just... Yeah, but, the, but what he's saying is our initiative is still from when we were fighting the blue guy. Yeah. Y'all can roll it if you want. I was just taking it because it's all been in one combat. I was just letting y'all play it off that way and continuing on. So I, you know... Um, if you you know want to do that, that's fine. I don't have a problem with it. If you would rather, it will change up the order here a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, are, you, are you guys that are lower can re-roll, and the guys that are higher can stay where they're at if you want to. That's fine. Well, I mean, you you had a system, so I'll just stick to the system you had. Well, I just I I just kept it where it was at because y'all were moving in and out and was planning it, and y'all had the order. I he's run the turn now if you know the rest of y'all are going to have to move out but the skeletons are going to they're the four you're dealing with so he's already opened up a hole here now 
And to Kirk, actually, I'm going to move you off the map just a sec. You're on the other map, but your cursor's there. You guys can move, continue there, you know, and play it this way. But they, those are turned, those four um, would have, they're actually, there's only one thing that they're going to do, whether you, and you know, is that they move to the door, folks. But my question is, is once they get their movement, do they do their opportunity attacks reset? Um, yes. Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, so the first guy out of the door is going to take a minimum of three opportunity attacks. Depending on where he moves, correct. Two if he goes right down the middle between those two, right? But he can. Five feet. So, yeah, he's got so, to five yeah. feet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But they I mean, move, I, they move I in to come to the door. don't see it less than five, or than three, I mean. Yeah, three, three. depending yeah, on which server square you're going. Yep. You can also use your turn to disengage, and they won't be able to attack you, although you won't get an extra 30 feet. But I don't know if a skeleton can really run, keep up with us at 30 feet. So I, I have a question, though. Mm -hmm. My initiative is higher than the uh, skeletons. Why didn't I get to go? You cast. I, I had you casting the vis visibility and doing all that, but you can go if you want. I, you can throw uh, that. I guess that was really kind of done before combat, so you can have your turn. All right, can I shove up through these two guys here? I guess. Yeah, would act well. They actually would. They would actually have been. Uh, he would have had a gap here. Oh, so, okay. Sorry, uh, now I've got to move myself. Then I will step into the doorway and. Let's see, what can I do? What's up, Moondog? Well, instead of dashing, I'm going to... Now here, here's what I'm going to do, just to be fair, because I understand what everybody's asking. The the four of you, the three, Kaz, Dell, and Arme, re-roll me initiatives. Because Selmar and Turkirk are not going to bitch about their initiatives. Okay? Hell no. Okay. You get higher, you're going to get to go. There you go. And the one person who needed to run first got to the very end. I, I actually moved way down instead of up. That sucks. Actually, well, that the person that needs to go out last so we can defend her. So, the other, so take your Selmar, do your turn, and then I'll give Dell and Crack their pops too. Okay. Nope. Oh, well, they didn't die like I thought they were going to. So we are going to. I guess we're going to try and run through them still, with the rest of my movement. They so I'll be. take the uh, first opportunity attacks. No, no they've they already, they already yeah. taken. That's why I let you reroll. Oh, okay. Because uh, understanding the the strategy and all that, y'all were correct. So to give the ability to reroll initiatives, I didn't have a problem with that. Uh, and so you move your ass right on through them um, for thirty feet, which is going to put you um, roughly the same spot where Kirk's at on the other map. Okay. Now, Dell. Oh, there's anything else, Selmar? Are you done with your turn? Nope, that's it. Okay, Dell. Okay, so um, I guess we need to kind of whittle this down since she's going to be up back up for op attacks. Well, I can, instead of doing the dash bonus action for the first one, I can disengage for the first one and still get a, a dash in. Okay, yeah, I, I took one me. out, so. Yeah, we should have room to build the room. And then I will take my 35 feet, and I'll go, I don't know, somewhere on the no, other you're, side. No, of you're, you're with them on the, you're in the circle uh, on the other map. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, who's Crack? And I, oh, Crack, that was, okay. I'm sorry, I moved Crack for some reason. I grabbed the wrong dude. Not bad. Do 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 do. Thank you. And I'm going to step away for a moment. Go ahead. I, Crack is 
going to hold his action until um, Arme's turn, and he will um, use his action to either do a breath weapon or he'll do a breath weapon at any skeletons that are trying to approach Arme. Well, that's exactly what they do. So the three that are still in front of you move to this and will... Two of them will pop you since you were in front of them, but they definitely um, are also trying to. Look. I can use my breath weapon now, though, correct? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. I guess I can hit those two in this uh, south area. And I've got ones that are turned, but I'm just going to be using them. These are. No, well, you're not going anywhere. These are the ones that are coming and moving around. They will be... I thought we just... Oh, you deleted all the ones we turned? N no, I'm using them. I don't want to have more markers on the deal, but there's going to be ones that weren't turned and outside the 30 feet of the turning that were on the other side of the building, and they're all moving this way now. All right. Okay. Uh, like I said, you notice that they work like a, uh, a flock... Uh, a, a mom mentality and are all moving together. Thanks, Linderal, for the follow. All right, so he's got his breath weapon, and did they? Did some die? Oh, you haven't run the ta the damage yet. Gotcha. Oh, half and half. That did not go what you wanted, like you wanted it to. All right. Um, thanks, you, Rosh. Appreciate the cheers. Um, all right, so they've moved. We're worried you're just about skeletons 14 and 4. All right, so at this turn. And that's a miss. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Come back here. Four. Four. Swings. And misses two. The rest of them moved. Arme. Um, well, I clutched the football, <laughs> put my head down, and run through between the four and the fourteen. Uh, I'm going to use Dash as Part of my regular action, but I will use the bonus action to disengage. disengage. Fair enough. And that will put you 60 feet in front of the group, which will roughly put you, let me see, let me look at my markers, 20 feet. We have yeah, 30 feet in front of us. Yeah, something like that. It's roughly, oh, actually, let me do this. Our May is going to be the square. Sorry, May. Um. Hey, people have been saying that about me all my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Uh, how can I see the different commands? Oh, Murph, it's, <laughs> that's the store. Um, so Sorry, Murph, the store is closed for this game. Um, we um, um, This is a run for the, uh, since it's a brand new module, um, to preview and show the developers. Um, just kind of our normal play outside of what the Paladin has done. Um, however, uh, and um, so I'm wanting just to showcase the module. So I turned off all the extra tweaks and the effects and things like that just to give regular D&D &D play. So normally the store is open, but today it's closed. So you get to did you say papers. Did you say normal play outside of what the Paladin has yeah, done? Yeah, outside yes. of what the Paladin has <laughs> done, yes. <laughs> Not sure that the developers, you know, wondered about that was going to happen so hey i yeah. got a surprise for him uh that's those tame <laughs> tame by saturday night's uh standard yeah well, that's a, a thing yeah. do what now oath of desecration could be a power yeah, exactly thing. all right we're at the top of the order again so dell you and so that puts every well except for crack um who is still at the chapel um the um, you're at the top of the order. And I'm putting you on the big map right now, um, and you, um, all of you, actually all of you, can give me perception rolls. 
please. Except crap. No, you're fine. You know, I want you to, you actually know you're not going to need it because you're going to notice. I'm just trying to see the rest of them will notice. Dell, de- <laughs> leave it to Dell not to notice. <laughs> not to Kirk or either. But um, the skeletons. Kirk's tired. Yeah, all the ones that are not turned. Uh, and with the Kirk moving out of this way, they're somewhere, they still, they're turned for one minute, so they're moving away. You noticed, cat, Crack, that the two skeletons that were, all three of them actually, turn looking toward the bridge. One's coming around the corner from both sides, turn and begin to walk toward the bridge. Uh, and they, um, don't even pay attention to you. They've turned their backs. They're starting to turn their backs on you, Crack. Let me put it that way. Um, just so you know. Interesting. When he gets to Selimar, let me know. I actually have something on the drive. Well, it's Del. Del, it's your turn right now. Um, so you can proceed to run. You're on the big map. Okay. You just got to kind of let me know, you know, we're in the theater of the mind here a little bit now. So kind of what you think you're going to do. So my uh, intent would be to run 35 feet, turn around, and uh, shoot um, any skeleton that would be the biggest threat to any party member that isn't turned. The the ones right now that are the, the your threat are still the ones right in front of crack and there's ones coming around the corner. There are none in front of you, or do you do not see any on the bridge or anywhere in front of you? Okay, so so that's that that's what I would like to do. If there's if oh. there's one I can pick out of the crowd that's a threat that isn't turned uh, that I can get a clean shot on. Well, yeah, you would move your thirty feet, which is thirty five. Yeah, roughly in there. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm not sure y'all are going to all too spread out too far, but that's going to move you sh- shortly in that range onto the bridge, and you turn to see that there are, there are a couple that are in front of crack. The ones that are there that you can see on the other map, which are uh, fourteen, four, or five. Four. I'll I'll take a shot at four. There you go. Target them in the combat tracker then. Okay. There you go. It's a hit. And he crumbles to the ground. All right. And then I will uh, pass my turn. Okay. And so um, noticing that they're not looking at me, if I move by them, will they take the rock attacks? That's my question. You'll find out, I guess, huh? All right, <laughs> Crack will just start running towards uh, the rest of the group. And the question is... There's only one, 14's the only one that would get that. And let me see if he, what's your armor? Uh, give me a stealth roll just to play it um, a little off if you get past him fast enough or not. Okay, he doesn't, he doesn't take a swing at you. All right, cool. Well, he'll um, dash and try to catch up with the rest of the group and make sure um, that nobody, no skeletons are getting near the group or attacking army. Well, that puts you on the bridge roughly. You know, you're getting close to where you were si- yours, yours was a 60 foot movement, correct? Right? Yep. Yeah. So, and y'all need to, I need y'all to track your dashes with your, you know, the ones you're allowed with your con modifiers. So, um, that puts you basically. But you get th- three before your con modifier, right? Three plus your con modifier. All right. Total. Now, and you could still take them afterwards, but you will take it. Um, what's the? Uh, what did I say it was? Um, bring this up real quick again. I can't remember. Um, you got to roll a con save or something. You need to roll. Like a, yeah, you need to roll a DC con check, and it's basically just beat a ten. And if you do eat the ten, then um, you're okay. If you don't, you gave you gain a level of exhaustion. So did did crack just crack just, just ran uh, by? Dash? Yeah, he just ran by one. 
uh, and that did not take a shot at him and is at the foot of the bridge, roughly close up on Darme right now. Uh-huh. And Selimar, your turn. Um, well, since now we really get to find out how fast those skeletons are. <laughs> well, since um, the, the shit that hasn't hit the fan yet, we'll, he'll take a dash forward. I guess I would put him slightly in front of Varme. Hey, I, I, later. <laughs> you move your dash. Well, that puts you. Um, yeah, you're going to be somewhere in the middle of the bridge. Uh, Tarkirk will move to the end of the bridge and prepare an action once all of his teammates have passed him. If there's no one attacking him, he's going to bail. And also follow for his dash action, if that's possible, sir. I'm sorry, say that one more time. Uh, Tarkirk's going to move to the bridge. Okay. Like, about 10 feet farther than he is currently. And he's going to wait for the rest of his team to pass him. Okay. And if they get passed, he would like to run the rest of his dash action. Like another 30 feet, if that's possible. Who isn't already on the bridge? Uh, Dell's ahead. Uh, say, okay, so Crack is now at the bridge level. Selimar, you are. Oh, it's not. What, I'm sorry. What'd you do, Selimar? I forgot. Dash. So I think technically I'm in the lead right You're now. You're in the middle of the bridge. Yeah, he's in the middle of the bridge. The rest of the group, except for you, is at the foot of the bridge on this side. All right, then I'm going to bail for my okay. full 60 feet. That puts you in the middle of the bridge. All right. Okay. That's what I'll do, sir. We got circles and squares. Um, they begin to, you see more and more begin to come around the, um, we've got probably another, you probably count 30, 40 skeletons that weren't turned, at least coming around the outside of the chapel and begin to move toward the, um, uh, group, they move like you would expect normal skeletons to move. They do not. Unfortunately, this is not the remake of Day of the Dead and that they do not run and crawl on walls and do all this <laughs> stuff. They basically amble and bamble, and you are seeing um, uh, that... They nothing happens. So at least if any of the characters didn't move at least forty five feet, all of you have, then nothing happens. You see a couple looks like maybe a couple fell down, broke a broke a bone and a leg, tripped over themselves. You see kind of the bumbling stumbling because they're kind of hoarding all around each other, you know, and so they're you know, it's becoming you know bumper cars, and a few fall down and start to pick themselves back up, but there is still a nice large mass of them. That is at the chapel, and they begin to, they're moving in mass toward the group. So I'm going to, okay, I'll, uh, hate having to pass all these guys, but we'll keep on this for the moment. R. May. Um, regular <laughs> move, dash, and then bonus action, dash, 90 feet. 90 feet. That's going to put you, uh, that's just at 100 feet. Which is roughly there. That's 100. So going to put you I'll give you with cutting across and running on there you're going to be you're the square like I said you're there okay okay I don't quit do I you know see any uh, coming out of the city or anything no you do not it is quiet <laughs> as can be say that again sorry Oh, that's interesting. That's all. Okay. No. 
Um, do, 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 that's say we've spent about an hour, hour and a half figuring all that out, uh, and we are looking at so maybe closer to midnight, roughly would be safe to say. Dell. Uh, okay, so um, from where I'm at, I guess I will take a full dash across the bridge. I'm feet. sorry. Were Good. you saying? Were you saying um, it's midnight in the game? Yes. Yeah, I'm roughly saying was running with y'all, trying to determine what you were going to be doing after it was dusk. Uh, and running that, uh, and the discussion of the contemplation of what was, to do, you know, y'all's actions were going to be. I would say we spent a couple hours, you know, after dusk, eh, maybe 11 ish, somewhere in there. Y'all haven't okay. really worried about time, but I have to worry about it. <laughs> All right. So that, I, I that, get, I get 70 feet. So you're roughly how, in front, you're roughly in front of her by a few feet. You know, she's. Oh, I don't think I can possibly get in front of her. Well, you were 20. You I were, couldn't oh. dash the, the 90 the first go, so. Well, I'm sorry. He wasn't. You were at the foot of the bridge. I'm sorry. He was at the foot of the of the bridge. He wasn't in the center. Correct, Dale? Yeah. Yeah. So that's that correct, gets you. Yeah. That gets you across. That gets you across to the house area, roughly. Somewhere okay. in there. You're across the bridge. Let's put it that All way. Right, I'd, like to, I'd like to post up right at the end of the bridge. And... Uh, a free action to to look around and see if there's any threat on this side. Give me a perception roll. Okay. You do not see anything other than Arme running away going, no! Okay. Uh, he doesn't see anything. I, I don't sound like that. It's yeah, more just, of a, ah, yeah, yeah, well, ah! yeah, yeah, but you, you don't see it. You just see, you hear it. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm I'm right where I want to be then. Okay. Crack. Crack will continue dashing with the group. Here, let's see. You know what? All right. You were at in the middle of the bridge, if I remember correctly. So that's going to put you a little, he got, so you're somewhere in here too, get you across the bridge, Selmar? Yeah, a little bit behind. Uh, Selmar is going to gather up his robes and no way looking at his knee highs and he's going to scuttle across the bridge as quick as he can. All right, that puts you roughly here too. All right. Pass your turn. Kirk. Uh, to Kirk's gonna dash as far as he can go. I'm gonna put you across the bridge too. And, Thank you, I appreciate that. And Arme with the football. Now I can get rid of the squares for the moment. Okay, so that's your turn. The skeletons, basically, you've got a mass of them that are your. And they got their 30 feet, and they are all bunching up, pre preparing to begin the cross. You know, they're still a movement away from the bridge, but that is what they're doing. I'm not worried about Hopefully the Hopefully they all track. fall off. Yeah, no, not really. Yeah, they, they might one fall to, and every now and then. But I'm not worried about the combat tracker right now, um, since we're you're running, basically. So what is the, the point is that you're going to... Do another dash, arm A, full 90, all the way to the boat. Is that correct? That is the plan. Okay. Unless puts, something gets in my way. And this guy is going to put, you guys are going to be roughly on your best bet. Dell's going to be about five feet ahead of everybody else. That would have been the next turn, roughly in there. And... Our skeletons are beginning to pile onto the bridge and make their way across. Next turn. How big is the raft that we built? 
Uh, we all got on it last yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I pushed it while swimming. I'm, I'm like untying it, assuming we tied it up last time. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove all the friendlies for the moment. So. Oh, I moved Brother Morton, but that's fine. We know where he's at. His body's up there in the middle of the graveyard area. Um. So that being said. I'm assuming you're at the boat. Are you? Wait, you're going to have to wait. I assume for them to catch up. Is that what we're doing? I, you guys got to tell me what you want to do now. So I, I, I am. I'm like untying the raft and that sort of stuff. But I'm also looking out at the water to see if I see any glowy stuff out there. You see our boy, your fisherman. Floating in the water. Way can out you, there. Can you hail him? Um, do I? Is he on the map somewhere? Am I just? Oh, on the big. It goes south on the big map. If you just go south into the middle of the bay. Sorry. Hmm. Well, I doubt my my little voice will carry that far. But hail, fishermen! Why not try it? Here's what you see. That, let's put um, yeah, he's, that's roughly mile. He, you get, you get no response. He continues throwing in the fishing nets. All right, well, I guess I'm mostly waiting for the guys to catch up then. Okay, guys, I will put you all here. And I'm assuming that uh, we are floating. Are we uh, hopping on the board and beginning our SSS minnow? <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, just saying, you know. Not Dibs of being Gilligan. Not trying to foreshadow. <laughs> so you see the mass of skeletons, you know, begin to cross over. An SS minnow. Doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. Anybody know if skeletons can swim? I would say they, they can cannot, not. but they can walk underwater. Well, How deep is this? Oh, it's a bay. It's definitely deep. Whatever you do, don't sink oh, to the bottom. Oh, you should be able to log in. You're a super mod. I don't know what else I need to do. Say what, what? now? What now? Missed you. To Kirk, what were you saying? Um, sorry. I was pressing the button down. Oh, you were talking office. to somebody else. Got you. Got you. Okay. He was talking to somebody else behind her back. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm new to this uh, affiliate program. So I'm <laughs> getting help. Yeah, and for us to talk. Fuck with me. All right, so <laughs> you move out this way. Um, <laughs> uh, Y'all want to um, reroll your initiatives? Uh, oh, God damn it. <laughs> sure, why not? I haven't rolled a one in a while. Oh, yeah. I double clicked, and my first one is oh, better than my second one. Man, look at him. Okay. Uh, has everybody rolled? All right. Uh, from up underneath the boat. Now, are you, to Kirk, are you swimming again? Are you pushing the boat? I'm pushing the boat. Okay. Yes, All right. Shit. All right. I just I need to know you uh, feel. And begin to hear punches at the boat under the hull of the boat, and you feel hands grabbing your legs, trying to pull you down. What the shit? Am I capable of ignoring it? Um, they're trying to pull you under, and they're trying. Right. You can see that they're attacking the, uh, the the hull of the boat. 
Oh, uh, well, I'm gonna spaz out and kick for my life and be like, Motherfuckers are trying to get me! Let's go! Let's go! I need help! Somebody grab him! Get him up here! You will remember from your tales from in the city uh, that there was discussions that boats at night would sink in the Bay Area that tried to move anywhere in the nighttime, and they never could figure out why. Damn it, they've told us about the drowned ones. Yeah, we need to make it past these drowned ones, but I don't know how. Dell, you're up first. And you're so how, how deep is the water that we're in? Oh, it's a bay. It's hundreds of feet. You're out where you're getting at. It's good hundreds, at least 100 feet or deeper. This is, you know, um, a fishing area now. So it ain't Okay, no, so you, we, we pushed off from the dock. Yeah, you got you, out yeah, you, in the bay. Oh, yeah, you got out. You're out in the bay. Correct. All right. Do I do I have a target? Oh, my bad. Uh, roll me a perception roll, please. And you'll fail, but I just want to give you a chance. Oh, okay. <laughs> you see. Son of a son of a bitch. These these guys look different. Um, they've got seaweed on them they've got uh they're you know um uh they are punching well, i don't believe all right so i will have to i think there's going to show that they've got swords um but i want to reduce that they'll be just they don't have weapons on them but these guys do these came out of the srd I need to recode these with just unarmed with open you know unweaponed hand so there i'll reduce a few of the roll of numbers to base whether right. they hit or not but their purpose you can tell is that they've reached they're reaching up grabbing the raft and all that because you know this has got you know sides to it and they're trying to punch holes and pull the boards apart to break the ship apart and sink all of y'all in it all right so i'm assuming that tarkirk he's the one that's pushing us right he was. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> scurred. I'm, as, I'm scurred, man. I'm assuming he wants us to continue on. So I will target number one. And hit. Okay. And then I'll give a little yell of encouragement to, to, to hang on oh i'm like halfway up the boat already man he's crawling yeah or the are, I, are you going to are, are, do, are we still have an invisible rogue with us or is she now visible uh she's still visible it, it holds up to an hour i'm just asking if you would have got rid of it. She, if she attacks then she becomes visible that's all yeah do I need to stay invisible? That's, that's why I'm I've asking. been hollering. Yeah, that, that's up to you. Um, hi there, fisherman. Give me a perception check, Arme, while you're contemplating that. Oh, nicely done. Yeah, I can't unlock doors, but I can see things apparently. Well, you, you got three more coming up around the sides of the boat. You're detecting that there are five of these creatures in the water up underneath you and attacking. All right. Well, I, I think that I would see that and feel threatened and pull out my rapier. So That'll I would uh, You'll also attack. Yep. Fair enough. I'm pretty certain the gig's up. She would have got advantage from attacking out of the stealth, though, before it broke. Or invisible. Fine. I, I just saw you took it off before she actually attacked. So. Oh, is it? Oh, does it? Okay. Does that? Is that the effect? If she attacks with it on, it gives advantage. Yes, because she's oh. considered completely in stealth. So, she's there you invisible. go. That's so fine. I'll just hit the advantage button. Here. That's correct. Correct the mundo. Thank you for that clarification. Well, it. it it's it adds up and, on a rogue since they get their sneak attack. For and it. I'll give you a sneak attack because they're all kind of climbing the boat. And, and to Kirk is the the uh, um, bobber that's kind of floating in the water, you know, that uh, they're all surrounding. So I'm not floating. I'm swimming. 
Well, you're crawling now up into the boat, and they've they've got at least one grabbed a hold of your leg. So, well, my other leg is definitely kicking. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, one, yeah, you hit one, and it shatters and begins to float in the water, and you know, it kind of bobs in the water. It doesn't look like it's sinking because it's bones, but it definitely kind of floats in and out of under the water. So, and I think i can still bonus action dodge yes you can uh okay can't cunning action dodge no unfortunately yeah dang okay never mind uh, i don't know why you can't but because i tried it with my rogue but it's stupid I don't play a rogue very often. It's so dash, you have disengage, to remind me of the rules. Dash, disengage, and hide. hide. Yeah, yeah, now that I've opened yeah, it. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Dang it. Yeah. All right, so two is going to hit this hull of the boat. Um, we'll give the boat a 14. How about that as an AC? Oh, he punched a hole in it. And we'll give the raft... 10 points of hip, 10 HP, and it will only do uh, 1d3, so 2 points on the raft. So it's got 8 hit points left. Number, we going down with this ship, boys? Number, no, I got this covered. Number 3 <laughs> is, let's see, is he... Even or odd? Evens the boat, odds to Kirk. Oh, to Kirk. He's going to hit you. He's trying to grab you. Uh, he's That's actually a good deal. He's actually going to be doing a... He's trying to actually pull you in the water. So this is a strength on strength check. So is that a save or just a check? It's a you check or acrobatics, whatever you choose to do. Uh, he just pulled a 14. Uh, I'm going for athletics, please, sir. That's, that's perfectly legit. Oh, I'm at disadvantage. I keep forgetting about that shit. <laughs> to Kirk is being pulled into the water. If any of those that have it on their action, you may reach out to try to save him from being pulled under. Uh, but he's being grabbed. The other two will hit. That would be a. What did I say with the two? So it's a six. Okay. So yeah. And a D, one to D three. Oh man, that's a wallop. That puts the boat at five. And the last. It's not doing critical. I'm not, I'm not doing critical. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> not doing critical. Oh, there's two. Oh no! It doesn't no, it's happen. it's half. It's half. Don't worry about it. It's oh, half. Okay. So that's that's got three hit points left. They breaking it apart. Salamar. I, I want the cast meaning to put. The, sorry, fixing the boat. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have mending? Oh my I god! I do have does. mending. Single repairs, break or tear an object you cast. Oh, nicely done. I uh, You can cast it. Um, and that would... Um, it has, what do we say, 12 points? Uh, so roll me a d12. Ah. I'll, I'll give you half back. So that puts it at six hit points. Nice. Okay. Hey. To Kirk. Kirk. Uh, I'm going to try and grasp onto the edge of bolt, uh, the boat. Yeah, you can fight it. You can, water. You, well, you can fight the grapple deal by doing another strength check, by breaking the grasp on him. If that's what you would like to do. Oh, and, shit. Yeah. Is another over, athletics check or what? Yeah, uh huh. Pretty much. And you got to beat yeah. a. <laughs> a lot, because DM Dice Mud. <laughs> my skeletons are super powered oh boy alright well you are now uh, being pulled into the, you are in the water now being pulled under 
Alright. That, that's what has to happen. Crack. Alright, so are these are swimming with us? or They're up under the... Yeah, they're crawling in. They're punching... They're pulling the boat apart, and one's got a hold of Turkirk. But they came up under the water, yes. Up from under... under Deep underneath you. Which one is grabbing Turkirk? Can I Three. Like swing my mace and break his arm, or, or either use my action to pull Turkirk? You can, you can try to reach and grab him, certainly. Um, you can do a sw swing. Since he's in the water now, I'll give you advantage on you can just do an attack roll and as long as you hit well what's your, well hold on that's may not what's your ac to kirk um uh 19 oh I, you wouldn't that'd be hard to hit him um roll me a strength check or acrobatics mm -hmm. whichever ones um ooh, man. <laughs> Damn it. Um, to Kirk, roll me, yes, a roll me a dex check. Oh, Jesus Christ. They're exhausted. It comes with the territory. That's why I said Jesus Christ. <laughs> he missed you. If you'd have tied it or beat it, I would allow him to grab your hand. Right, Cat, so that's my action. Yep, you missed him. And then Crack will be like, don't worry, Tarker. We will save you. Dell. So we'll be like, don't worry, Tarker. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Thanks for the follow, Cammy. Okay, so um, you said it was number three that had him. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to um, believe in the ring. Let's see. And we are in round two, so that's going to move them here. So Hunter's Mark is a is a uh, an effect that I put on myself or the creature. You put on yourself because you get the bonus of the damage. Okay, but you so. keep, but you just have it target. You just let it. You're targeting that. I know who it is and. You get the bonus of it as long as it until it dies, and if your spell is still active, you can move the mark after it dies. Okay. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. Arme. Uh, three, you say? Yes. 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 Uh, I, he's gonna get a rapier from me as well. But you see, there's anybody next to him. Oh, you're fine with that. I, I allow that. Well, but oh, oh well. damn it! Doesn't matter <laughs> if I miss. I'd say Tar Kirk is next to him. Yeah, the, I, the, the sneak attack damage. I was going to give that to her. Yes, <laughs> he, he's he's being held by number three. So, yeah. All right. Well, oh this is like the moment in movies where like someone's underwater for like moments, and you're waiting for them to pop up. Oh, there's yeah. one. That's that's helpful. Do you guys remember that that uh, when the I think it was the British they put out that thing over the internet where they wanted the the internet to name their boat? Yeah, mm -hmm. I watched it. Do you remember what they what they named the boat? It was something ridiculously yeah stupid. yeah it was like crazy ridiculous. To Kirk, that's what we need to name our boat. Yes, sir. I can't. Oh, you fucking kidding me! <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna have you make a strength check if you won't even try, or you just went underwater. Never mind. Yeah, so you just got pulled I underwater. Can't. So your breath, you're able to hold your breath of one. What's the breath holding? Was it, it two minutes plus your con? I believe it's something like thing? that. Hold I don't remember. That. I'm looking it up real quick. Uh, you can swim and really hold your breath for... <sighs> oh, gosh darn it. But the issue you've also got equal to... 
<laughs> oh, quit. I hate pop-ups. Uh, one minute plus con modifier. I got three minutes, guys. We got gotcha. and right, so you. And every round, round takes six seconds, so I can hold my breath for a long Actually, time. Any character can hold her his or her breath for a number of rounds equal to twice their con. No, not your con score. Give me a break. It's going to be yeah you know, one. Yeah, I'm going to do one minute plus the con modifier. Um, here we go. So that's a while, but that, he's got you and he's taking you under. And you you look down to see the evil skeleton grin, you know. All right. Oh, that's a miss. Oh, that's a horrible miss. All right. Selimar. I'm going to continue repairing the boat. Uh, roll me a D12. Roll a D12 again. Roll me a D12. Oh, of course the 11 rolls off the screen. That's fine. That's, boat is healed. Did he Once. upgrade our boat? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's like a sloop. I need that. I should have gotten the Gilligan's Island theme song for this. I did not. You think I'd have all my other sounds? I I dropped the boat on this one. <sighs> I don't suppose we're drifting any closer to the fisherman in all this. Uh... Uh, you float a little, but you lost your you lost your propeller. I'm gonna try and smash this skeleton right in the face. All right, you uh, you, you roll me at a negative two because you're going to be swinging underwater. That's acceptable. Okay. No, it's not acceptable. Apparently. All right. I'll get a swing underwater and hope for the best. Crack. All right, so I can't. Um, how far away is he now? Uh, you've got two turns, roughly, if you're swimming to a minute. But he is. He. Uh, hold on. All right, so I'm going to roll a D4. One's north, two's east, three's south, and four's west, and that will be his movement. And so, <laughs> oops, sorry. Looks like so I'm going down, guys. <sighs> He has moved. So you've at least got two. You've got at least two turns to get close to him. Minimum. And how you, far? I got a rope. Because like here, here's minutes? actually hold on. So hold on. Hold on. No. 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 Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. That's gonna be his. That's his first move. Let me do that one for y'all. Moving now. This is turn. We're coming around the top of the order again. So, all right. So that was this way. So he's going to be moving every time. Krakas is going to go ahead and uh, throw a rope out in the direction of where Tarkrik is to maybe help him or give him some, something to his role. Okay. Now, but are you moving or are we just going to float? Well, because I can't, I'm not going to be able to swim with my armor. It, mm -hmm. but, so I'm I'm just going to throw a rope as my action for now. Okay. To All right. Role, I can't De Del. Okay, I can see uh, still skeleton three. Uh, he's underwater. You'll be shooting at uh, because he's underwater and all that's a negative five on the shot. Ah. He is he is under he because he's also under pulling to Kirk down. Don't roll okay. one. True. All right, I'm going to take at least, uh, I'll give at least one shot at it. And so I'll hit negative five. Yeah. Hey, there we go. You got a hit. Oh, almost. Okay. You see a couple of things shatter off of them. Um, and real quick, I don't want to hold up our time. I'll make sure everybody haven't announced that. And I know most of y'all heard this, but those who haven't, for the new viewers and all that, make sure and join the Discord server. Uh, we're having giveaways the end of August for my birthday. I'm giving away Fantasy Grounds. Uh, Fantasy Grounds Ultimate License is the big giveaway. I'm giving away some books, uh, some maps, uh, some of Rob Tui's tables. Um, there will be four drawings uh, the last week in August. 
um, and you use your Praetors to buy tickets to the giveaway. So make sure get on the Discord server, join up there to see the announcement when it's all being taken place. And then you have to be present to win. So, but we'll be doing that the last week in August. All right. Uh, all right, Dell, that's your turn. Anything else? Yeah, I just want to say the name of that boat was Bodie Boatface. Oh, Bodie right. McBoatface, Mc, you're right. Yep. All right, Arme. <sighs> okay, I can still see uh, Skeleton 3 and uh, Tarkirk, yes? Barely, yes. That a negative five <sighs> if you shoot. Oh. I'm going to have to take a shot at him. You hit. Oh, nice. And you got sneak attack damage because he's um, he's right there next to him. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> a shot. Just, just for the record, as a GM, I would not give that to me. Why? Why is that? Because I, I think he's like grappled or restrained. Or he something. is grappled, but it, it, they're moving around and a lot. But I give you because I'm giving you the negative five on the shot. If you did take that, I'm assuming. Um, then yeah, I did then, hit the negative see, five. Yeah. Yeah. See, then I'm then I would give it because you were at least accurate enough to hit the shot, and so then you know, but, and that's how I play it. Just so you understand, um, and he, uh, is you see the arrow pierces the skull and. Sh takes it right off the other part of the body and it begins to float down and he is to Kirk is uh, free. Bob back up here and paddle, man. But you have three other skeletons still hanging on to the boat, however. <laughs> Forty McBoat face will not fail. There's the first fail. Oh shit. <laughs> All right. I second, it. second. Oh, there's a hit. Uh, for two points of damage. That's it. All right. Skeleton five. Actually, that's uh, it's a fourteen because I'm taking two off of the attack roll. Uh, yeah, well, and they missed me. They're not swinging at you. They're swinging at the boat. And that's not what Fancy Ground says. <laughs> I know, I know. I know, because this is who's targeted. I'm not worried about it. I'm just throwing I'm throwing and taking the attack roll damage. All right, so it took three points of damage. Selmar. <laughs> Wet robes are bad robes. We're uh, well, it's got nine up. Oh well it's got hold on a second. It's it's got nine hit points left. I, I still don't want th I'm still gonna okay. remember fix them. Okay, so it's back to twelve. That's full, it's back to full. Health. <laughs> uh, make how both far faces away good. am I from it? Uh, your swimming distance. You could swim up to it. Sure. They've only floated yeah. away because they got the skeletons dragging them back, trying to drag them and take it apart. I'd like to swim up to it, please, sir. That's fine. You're at the side of the boat, fighting off. So there's a skeleton looking at you, grinning. Yeah, the skeleton can keep looking at me. I'm gonna start motorboating this goddamn boat <laughs> as soon as I can. <laughs> Crack this thing with those mace up the uh, skeletons that are a miss. Yeah. You yeah, missed. Yep. Dell? Okay, so uh, the three remaining skeletons are cl clearly yeah. visible. Yeah, hold on a second. Uh, okay, so he moves. Okay, the start of the start of y'all's turn, he moves. I'm just doing it that way. So yeah, uh, they're all yeah, they're they are hanging onto the boat, or they are. You've got they're trying to rip because it's a raft, so to speak. You know, so it's not really a hull boat. You know, so they're trying to pull parts. So you can see at least hands and bodies and things like that. All right, so I'll, I'll shift my mark to two. Take a shot. Okay. And nicely done. All right. And pass my turn. Um, yep, looks like I can see him too, so yes, I can. will do the same. Oh. And miss. Here we go. First attack is a Oof. hit. 
for two. All right, it's a 10. Second one is another hit at two. It's an eight. And a miss. Selmar. Um, well, the other guys seem to be doing a good job of beating him off. I'm just going to keep the boat floating no matter what. It's got eight hit points. Oh, never mind. Well, not anymore. <laughs> How many? Now, is that a, are those? Are those? Is that a cantrip? Yes, it is. Yep. Ah, never mind then. Okay, so I was getting ready to ask how many you didn't. know. Oh, shut the hell up. You just keep casting away, bitch. So, I Thank so we, God. We don't want to. The, the last thing I want to do is sink into this water. My robes uh, get wet. This is silk, okay? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> to Kirk, you are no, on the side of the boat. I'm going to start paddling the boat as hard as I can towards the fishermen. Uh, you're getting some, but the problem is because you've got them fighting and pulling away and all that. And let me see. Yeah. Okay. So you, you've done that. You've moved it some. All right. There's nothing I can do about the ones underneath except for possibly drown myself. So I'm just going to keep motorboat in the boat. Mm -hmm. You're fine. Crack. Sounds like that would hurt your nose rubbing it against the wood like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hit. It falls falls apart and begins to sink. Dell. Okay, we are shifting to number four. Uh, oh, I didn't target. Sorry, is it fifteen to hit? Well, here's um, y you're shooting creatures that are within five feet and all that because that would be an, a melee, a range attack which would be at disadvantage. Are you sure you want to be doing that? Am I sure I want to be long bowing? Yeah, within five feet. You're you're shooting a target which is in melee range. So when you do that, you take a disadvantage on the shot. Uh, well, do I get the damage on a melee attack? For Hunter's Mark, yes. Yes, you do. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Green. I, so if you I can switch, if I switch to melee, do I get an offhand? You can do that, sure, if you have your offhands, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll, I'll take a short sword and a yeah, re -roll, dagger. Re yeah, re-roll your short sword attack. Okay. Well, you're not... Tar who are you targeting? You really oh, should sorry, target. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, right. That was four. Hold on. It's a miss. All right. So then an offhand with the dagger. The dagger, yeah, it's going to be it's without the bonus, so it's just just roll the dagger. A straight 1d4. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So roll you roll the dagger attack. Just just straight up dagger attack, no yeah, disadvantage or anything. No, 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 not no, there's nothing like that. You just don't get the plus 3 on the damage. And you missed at that too. Apparently you're not very good at melee. I'm not. Arme. Um, I will uh, swing there on skeleton four. Hit. Which, which you say my friends are near him. Oh, they are near him. Uh, yeah, they're all within five feet. That's because I'm giving him the disadvantage on the uh, range shots. So they're all up around the boat and all that. I consider that within five feet. Ooh, nice. Nice. It's not looking pretty. Now that it was. No, they uh, don't see this. Being a skeleton, candy. he probably wasn't pretty to start with. The it, viewers are watch can read this cami, but none of the uh, um, players can unless they're checking their chat. They some of them have it popped open. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, this one is he smart enough? Which is no, so he just attacks the boat and misses. And this one, does he consider it? Oh, this one detaches and moves toward to Kirk and is trying to grapple to Kirk. Skeleton five. Uh, so it's my roll. 
the, it's a strength. It's, he's trying to, he's, he has let go of the boat and grabbing you, so it's strength on strength. And you've got to beat uh, 13. Yeah, i got to beat more than I can do at this yeah, event. Well, he's, got you, he's got you wrapped um, at the moment. Sell. So, you got the boat is boat is not damaged. Is yeah, it's not damaged. Which one? Number five is on. Uh, yeah, number five is Kirk? on to Kirk. Yes. Fine. We're tired of these skeletons. Uh, uh, hold, on, got, hold on, I gotta go. Look my while you're doing that, my horde is moving. Uh oh, don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, they've moved. All right. I, I blasted it with some magic missiles and then uh Okay. Kinda, it's not looking good either. It. Okay. What's my negative and which one has me? Number five has you. Uh you were grappled though, so uh in in, in Praetor's world you're you have to break the grapple to attack. You can just All try right. to fight it off. So it's another strength strength on strength check for you. Like athletics or strength on strength? Whatever which one's better for you. I allow that. Well, athletics gives me a bonus strength. That's doesn't. fine. Yeah, then that's fine. You can roll that one. And you've got uh, to beat a 10 and did not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised, but I'm doing all right, guys. Damn uh, exhausted to get you. Yeah. Make sure you take big, deep breaths. We got this. <laughs> all I've been doing is taking deep breaths. Right. <laughs> your sacrifice will not be in vain. Crack. I'll take in, your part of the loot. In uh, crack scene number five. Yes, he's, they haven't gone underwater yet. All right, Crack is going to use his um, sacred flame. Homina, 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 Bahamut. Save my friend Tark Kirk. Fine, then, bastard. <laughs> it fizzled out. <laughs> it fizzled out when it hit the water. Psst. Somewhere Bahamut's like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's the guy that desecrates uh, religious relics, right? Yeah, yeah. fuck him. <laughs> He was a Bahamut relic. Guess though. who my girlfriend is? Sid Vela. She's telling me what you're doing to her <laughs> hand. <laughs> All right, Dell, you're up. All right, so short sword attack at number four. Hit. And that. He disappears. Okay. And um, so it is a straight dagger attack. For the offhand on five, um, or, or because he's grappled, is there? They're in the to... water. Um, I give you the ability to reach down. He's not let. Go. He just was on the boat, and so was to Kirk, and so they haven't. They're within five feet, so you can swing your dagger. At a, at a straight attack. Straight attack. Yeah, there's no day. There's nothing like that. Just don't roll a okay. one. Okay. Now I, roll my roll god up. is uh, Timora, the god yeah. of luck. So can I, I would like to wager uh -huh. my dagger for an advantage attack. So if I, if I fail, I drop the dagger into the water. Done. Okay. And I will attack with the dagger. Hit. All right. Um, just okay, roll so damage. It's just... Yeah, and it was you know, beat by two. Hold on, that was you had a plus three on the bonus, so actually it's it, it not still has dead. One health. It still got one hit point, guys. Well, my, my dagger is is one d four plus three. Though. You don't get the plus three on an offhand. You just get oh, the okay. straight up damage, and that's why I was I, trying to check that. So it looks like it. It almost let go of to Kirk. I'll give you that, so you know it. Uh, All right. So that's a that was a good Timora yes. roll. So I'll mm -hmm. I'll praise praise Timora. Arme. Well, that damn skeleton has a hold of one of my friends again. I'm gonna have to hit it with my rapier. Oh. Or not. Now you can try your <laughs> offhand if you'd like. Gamble yeah. with Timora. Uh, I will try my offhand. Okay, so you basically just take your dagger roll and try to hit with uh, it. Just roll the regular I, attack. Go ahead. It, yeah, nothing. I got it. Yeah, you're fine. On the, the dagger's uh, offhand is already built. so. Oh, it's, it's there. Oh, my, there you go. Hey, how you like that? Oh. 
But I'm still gonna miss. You missed. Here we go. Glug, 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 glug. And one more, one more roll here to Kirk. He's gonna try to pull you under. He's. He, oh, you got a two. You got a beat. Come on, Tuck Kirk. Can't do it. You got a seven. So he, <laughs> you were you were you were hanging on to dear life. You see, basically what you saw, the skeleton came up, and you saw bony hands grab back of like his hair, and the other one's got like half its finger in his mouth, and one up his nose, and he's just trying to pull back. And Turk Kirk's just like trying to speak and yell, but he's like, Aah! and he's got the skeleton hand just kind of fouling him, going, you know, we this is how what a hand really needs to do to you, and it's <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Selimar. <laughs> we are going to kill it. <laughs> We're going to kill it with fire. Oh, there's a hit. And blug, splat, hey. blast apart. All right. And well done. And I was actually, I needed to roll another movement. And so this guy moves back this way now. Okay. The last remaining skeleton drops into the water and motorboat to Kirk. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't even miss a beat. He doesn't. He's like, well, he's like giving him the F out of the water. And so <laughs> what you look, what you see is as you begin to swim and row motorboat up to the ship, you see this. Uh, it's clearly not an ordinary vessel. It's rotten timbers or slimy and crusted with barnacles full of holes. It shouldn't be able to float. There's no doubt about that. A terribly pale fisherman is standing on the boat, and as he draws and casts his nets, he keeps muttering repeatedly, Where is it? Where is it? Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? And you see, this is kind of what he looks like. And he, as you get closer to him, he stops for a brief second to look around. Uh, what is this picture of? What did someone send me in disc? Do I want to know what it is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for Bruce Campbell. That's right. <laughs> that's a good picture. That's how I picture it all with those skeletons doing all that to his face. Um and he, he looks and stops. You see him like just as you got close to him, the casting stops for a moment. And he's looking around. Here. It's here. Still. Throw that goddamn idol on board. The hand stays with me, though. <laughs> what are well, you looking we, for? We, yeah, should we hold it up and say, is it this? Um, you... Uh, Sorry, say that again, because you you know he doesn't. This doesn't look you know doesn't look solid by any means. What yeah, so don't seeing. throw what, it. Hold, what, hold what it up you, and ask him for it. What are it. you looking for? You, you just he comes. It's where is it? Where is it? I've got to find it. Here. What is? He what is it? He doesn't. Re he doesn't reply to you. He doesn't even look at you. Doesn't even recognize. Oh. This, see that you're there. Hold it up. Hold and on. when you look, and when you uh, actually, uh, all, all of you can give me perception rolls, please. Uh, yeah, right on par. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, our May again. Saves. Oh, it's a Kirk. <laughs> you noticed that uh, he has well, only it's three. not a door. He only has three fingers on his left hand. So um, I'll go ahead and, um, you know, open bag of bag of bag I think it was triple bagged the idol and, uh, where's the idol back. grab hold of the idol where's the idol is it here is it here it's here And Selmar would like to use mage hand to lift the idol up and float it towards the you, uh, re fisherman. you religious boys Give me a religion check, and please. God damn it! <laughs> How's that exhaustion working out for you that you took for the team? 
it's working out perfectly. I haven't yeah, died a yet. Big old, big old one there for you. Uh, you don't, you've missed that class. Look at our man. I haven't died yet. Though. Oh well, and so did. Fortunately, crack oh, and perception. Damn. Uh, both of them didn't pay attention to that in religion school. But you know, I give it to crack because we're close here. Uh, you know that he, that this ghost. Um, is troubled and will not rest until its task that it is at is achieved and whatever it was before he died whatever he's doing is you know he will continue to do it until it's successfully ended and you hold the did someone say they hold the idol up yep um And one second, I believe it is. Oh, come here. Damn it. Oh, it's oh, it's on the wrong deal. Come here. Idol. Brother Morton and the idol. Alright, lifting the curse. Dun dun dun. Um He turns to see it, and you see him uh, reach out with his net toward the raft. And you see his eyes begin to actually focus for a moment on the group sitting there on the raft. And he's holding his fishing net out. Do I toss it to the net, guys? Get rid of the damn thing. Sounds good to me. You can do so, and if uh, worse comes to worse, I'll dive under and <laughs> attempt to retrieve it. All right, I'm tossing it toward the net as close as I can get. All right, you throw the idol into the net, and as soon as you do, the idol goes dark, and you see him look down. I found it, and he wraps it up in his net. And places it on his boat and turns around almost at lightning speed. And you see him row and shh, and then all of a sudden, poof, it is gone. Yay. Ungrateful bastard didn't find shit. We found that. That's it. As long as the ugly yeah. idol is away, I don't care. <laughs> that's that's so that so now what do we do we paddle back to the uh town guys do we Are still we... see like a horde of skeletons marching like do, lemmings into the sea well it's too dark for you to see from where you're at there's no I'm light gonna there. continue paddling us back to where i know the lighthouse is because that's a safe zone oh that's a good idea yeah so like in that direction even if we came up at this other dock. Well, either either way, I mean, you, I mean, you can come around here if you want. You know, there's trash and all that laying. And you come out and give me perception checks. Christ, God damn it! I got this <laughs> yep. one, guys. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> uh, I mean, you do it's not, not hear. A door. You do not hear or see anything moving. Wait, our may our may did pretty good. I know. I'm just, but I'm letting her know. She does not yeah. hear or see anything moving. Oh, even cracked did good. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I need to go to sleep because this shit's fucking me up real bad. I've been awake for like two and a half days. Oh, God. Crack, give me another religion check. All righty. Someone assist him, please. Me. Someone assist Take. him, please. I will assist him. Thank you. Roll with the I was gonna say, um, someone is actually uh, proficient in religion as well. That's fine. You roll. Wow, roll. Crack, nice. crack begins to feel that something has changed, and that uh, evil uh, is abating the area forever. Guys, the case has been cracked. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but then you got to go like this. And they would have got away with it, too, if it wasn't for them meddling kids and their darn paladin. <laughs> well, you well, step out, and 
what do we do? You're on. You're in the town. Well, and uh, everybody's Tarkirk over needs, here. Tarkirk needs a nap, and um, Richard had a bed, so I mean, it might work out. Yeah, I'll go attempt to sleep in his bed again. Y'all move yeah, over to the house. Time. You move yeah, toward we'll his see. house. Yeah, we'll see if he's still there and what's happening. Um, you find his body laying on the front porch. He is Can not I alive. Sleep in his bed. Can I sleep in his bed? Sure. Do yeah, you, what I'm about gonna the, go what climb about in the his bed. What about the horde? I really don't care at this point. It's been two and a half days. If a person dies after like three days of being awake, I'm really tired. I feel like the horde wasn't bothering Richard's place, so um, we'll um, stand guard. But um, I think we're decently safe here. It is, morning, it is morning time. And nothing happens to the group. Did I get to sleep? Yes, you did. Oh, my God. Nothing, appro nothing approached the cabin either. All right. Do we check to uh, secure the you know chapel area before we take our uh, stuff back and, you know, collect our rewards from everybody yeah we can do that where are we headed? i agree where are we at? you're in you're in richard's place so where are we going where's the back to the big city i believe well we've got the hand right and we've got the the ring the, the ring well is there another thing we were technically to did, weren't we supposed to bring back his body by yes. the morning's body yeah yes. so we should go up by the chapel and collect the blue guy's body. Yeah, was, we'll there, was there a third thing, though? The, the third thing was removing the curse. You're removing okay. the curse, and the mermaid told you that if you were to abate the evil and all that, she would tell you where a treasure was of said fellas. Oh, let's go yeah. see the mermaid. Well, we need to go with the blue, by, blue guy's body, and the mermaid is close to that. I just, can well, we get the body on the way out so we're not dragging a corpse all over the place? Well, I'll I'll drag that corpse around. I'm all right with that. Y'all move out of, out of the, yeah Richard's place and you walk down the path. You know you walk and check it out. You begin to see skeletons and just ma masses of bones laying all over the place in this whole area. As they had looked like the, as when the when the idol took off. It was like they all kind of dropped and fell apart all in this area. And Can Selimar pick up a, like a leg bone and, and look at the crack has and be like, yeah. here boy, here boy, do you want to play fetch? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I believe crack just kind of gives you a sideways look there. Um, and when you get close to the dock area, you hear a soft voice. Arme, you feel it more than hear it. Uh, a oh, female voice ca calling from the dock area. Hello. She, you know, she's. She I waves. forget her name. Yeah, Anna. 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 Yeah, Anna. She waves and um, beckons you to, you know, to come closer. So and she, and you get a little closer and she thanks you for freeing her from um the curse and the and when it lifted the the uh you know the oppression the ability to cross over the threshold was gone and she was able to swim away and she tells you that if you search Sid Vela's shrine one of the panels will slide back away and there is a golden crown in the panel dibs <laughs> <laughs> I believe our May knows that. So she says, and thank you very much. You held up your end of the bargain. I held up mine. Best to you in love in life. And she plunks underwater and she swims away. Now, how much would a mermaid be worth if we know? <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. And I can't swim that fast. That's right. <laughs> no, but a firebolt can't. I mean, um. So we're headed up to the chapel. 
got some bones to collect. And, you know, I want to take another look at that, uh, you know, altar area. Just mm -hmm. curious. All right. Well, <laughs> you, you all get up there and you, what you'll actually find is that uh, Brother Morton uh, is not out where you thought his body was at, but you find it uh, rotting inside the chapel as though it had rehealed again and made its way into the chapel uh, and then died there. I'll pick up his dead rotting body and yeah. prepare to let haul make, him back to make, town. I'll make sure I'm going to tell you that right. If you kill Brother Morton by that way, um, defeating him, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's the idol. Yeah, he's yeah. He, that's fine. I would say you could. He's still got some rotting flesh and on them. It may not look pretty, but you know, it's there. But you find uh, the um, what was it? She gave you as a pearl stuff. That was the anklet. But then oh, oh damn! The I've golden crown. No, I'm get, yeah, I'm getting that real quick. Um, it's in Saint Shrine of Saint Savella. There it is, the secret cache. There it is, and that's the crown of sea gold. There it is, and boom, that's taken care of. And um, you grab the body, and you head back to Hather Bay to um, let everybody know what's happening, Catherine. Reed um, gives you the 500 gold for clearing out all the skeletons, and she's already she'd already you know paid attention to that. And boats and supplies were already pat it were already headed that way. And the next not even the next day, they were already in town pulling stuff apart, you know, cleaning out um, the areas. You know, it's the re the rebuilding process has begun. Um, Susan Morton gives you a um, hundred gold pieces for the return of her um, uncle. And you have the, uh, once you show her that plus the ring. Yeah. I'll um, cough up that ring. Why not? Yeah. Then she says, hundred gold. Said, that ring might have been worth more. <laughs> yeah. Well, she says you could keep the ring, you know, she, she would have no use for it, but, and it's worth something. I forgot. I, I need to, that's, I got to recode too. I forgot to put that in the module. And last but not least, um, uh, when y'all are there doing all that, we're talking with Susan, father Wakely comes running, uh, and to hear that the news had happening and asks what about the chapel. And do you have the artifact? I'll tell him he has a present for, I got a present for him and I hold my pants open, but I do <laughs> not hand him the hand. <laughs> and I do have parted hair right now, so he should be all right with it. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, he says well, your job was to bring the the hand back. I cannot pay on uh, this if it was not brought back. Where is it? Was it not in the chapel? It's a surprise, sir. Just put your hand in my pants. I swear you'll be happy. I'm gonna leave it there. The father's going to turn away. And the paladin is going to be chastised by his faith. <laughs> In the dark, he's going to have bad dreams the rest of his life. That's um, right. He's already scarred for life. That's why he. <laughs> <laughs> it's really I'll pull scary. the hand out of my pocket because that's where it was, not down my pants, and I'll hand it to him. Oh, you right. sick <laughs> bastards. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know it's Jumping defiled. Yes. Yeah, and he kind of guy yeah, is kind of sticky, and he kind of walks off with it. You know, it needs the cleaning. Um, so yeah, so I got you some money there too. All right, and you have you you have the, one more unidentified item in the uh, parcel. Oh, uh, was it? That was, that that's was the, oh, that was the uh, anklet. Alex, still, I think. No, oh, no, that's right. The anklet. That's the mermaid had given you an anklet at the. Uh, uh, when she said it, part of her bargain, she gave that to y'all to. Yep. And that's it. Where and was a you, mermaid wearing an anklet? She had it. She had it. Well, yeah. Well, she could turn back and forth. <laughs> that's a really good she, question. She, that. she goes back and forth. Mermaids can change form. 
So remember, the she tree. was up on ground and she was hiding in the back of the cave. So because when y'all went in there, the, the water line was down, so the whole cave was dry. And then as high tide came up, it would fill up the cave. But she could never swing out past the in the opening of the cave. She was because of the uh, curse. So it's so, an when she's yeah. a mermaid yeah. or as yeah. a human. And, Man, and just go stuff. with <laughs> it. Man. All so right. if she, we, if her name's Anne. It's short for Ariel. She's all right. If we sell off all this loot, how much is the take? Oh, hold up. I'm putting some of the stuff that I got out of the um, borrow downs back in the um, tracker. Oh, that's okay. Stellamar is keeping his silver comb. His luscious locks need it. <laughs> and what if I want a j gold sea crown? The uh, Balax <laughs> probably doesn't need to be sold, though. Wait, come on, guys. I looked beautiful swimming in the ocean and was drowning like ten times. Well, well you got, you know, each of you got 1160 XP from that. It would have been, you know, something to use, but, you know. Um, but the whole loot, all this, let's see. Go back to the inventory. Um, we'll give you 80, we'll give you 80 cents on the dollar for your stuff. And someone grab the battle axe too. So it God damn it. You're treating me like a Canadian. Oh wait. I am. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, the battle axe, the battle axe. Uh, Got it. yeah, it's the rest of it is given out and then Woo! boom. Oh, that's quite cash. Dude. Oh my God. That's sweet. a lot of money. And there's still st there's still stuff you kind of left around in a few spots, but you guys you made it through. Yay! That was a Yay. good little uh, good little adventure. So it that, was and uh, quite a puzzle. Yeah. Nicely done. Yeah, I like, uh, the, I like the way they wrote it up. There's a few things to address on you know, but I'm, and I will review that with them. Um, uh, like I said, the maps. I think you know we can use that a little bit. And I had there was a comment about. Oh, I thought of it earlier today about the way um, they have some backstory that doesn't get it's um, it's fluff writing is what we call it in the film business or, you know, it's, you know, there's stuff that allows the DM. It gives me information and all that. But of you, the ghouls the in the um, gas that you met in town were actually sisters <laughs> that had opened up they everybody always knew to stay away from the borrow mounds but they went in uh and there's two other girls and they raided the mound well they got the mold on them and the mold then infected them and they got a, and they came back and their brothers before they were turned which were the guys who came out of the one building with tools around them and all that they locked a couple of them in um the storeroom down below and they turned into the ghouls. The other one was the, they thought one went mad and that was the witch. She really wasn't ever a witch. She was just, uh, one of the sisters who turned mad because of the mold. So they hung her thinking she was a witch. Ah. And then the other two were, um, they were once just walking around in town. And so there was a, those groups of, uh, the gas and the ghouls, um, Richard was just happened to be, um, I think his storyline, he just happened. To, uh, what was his story? Um, not that I'm trying to ruin it for everybody, but, um, well, see. it explains why those on bed were in the village and not really. Yes. Yeah, that's village. right. Yeah. And right. so, so what happens is, is that you can figure part of it out. They would always be there. They were part of the curse, but they weren't dead already. All that, what adventures, I'm sorry, AOS, this is a new module, it's called Chapel on the Cliffs, that just came out from Goblin Stone, and I, I did the conversion of it to Fantasy Grounds, and I've got a couple things missing, so i got to send it to the developers, but I ran it for them as a kind of a test session, we had three sessions here that to go through the whole module, um, and um, see how it played out, and then they had their videos to review. Um, but it's out on the DMs Guild now, and there's actually a, a little lore book that he released that came along with it to give more background. It's got plenty of role-playing stuff. It's got plenty uh, of background information for uh, the DMs to be able to use. But Richard's deal was um, he, um, he was terminally ill when the curse struck, so he kind of didn't, he died but didn't die, so his mind kind of, 
reacted to the curse and he became a zombie, but he still had some of his memories and feelings. And so that's why I got to play him like, you know, he only had an intelligent wisdom of 10. <laughs> so, but the skeleton stayed away from his place because of that. Um, they never messed around with his spot. So y'all could get rest there. Well, you couldn't get rest. You could stay there as long as the skeletons didn't see you, but you could never rest there. You can never rest anywhere inside the town area because of the amount of skeletons. There were 116 skeletons um, moving around. 14 were in town, nine at the marsh, the witch, but you killed her by burning her bones. If you hadn't, if you'd just broken her apart and reburied her, they all come to back to life at the, again, again at the next dusk. Everyone returns, even Brother Morton. You kill them, burn them, doesn't matter. As long as you know uh, they have a way to regenerate, he would show back up. And he regenerated every f two to four hours, depending on the D-roll. Um, and that was, he was, uh, he, uh, the fisherman brought the head to him because he found it. And the head turned the priest and then started the whole deal. It was the real reason of the curse of the town and all that. And the skeletons would fan out overnight and patrol a three-mile area around the whole area, which included the whole town. But they never went any farther. And There's only 14. I could have slaughtered them all. In town, there were 14, <laughs> yeah. But in the, around the graveyard, there were 96 graves because people were dying. And so they started burying and all that, you know. And, and over time, the graveyard, but everybody else kind of all fell apart. But they would rebury themselves at dawn and stay there until nighttime when the skull, when the, the uh, uh, idol came out. And they would all crawl back up to the top and start running around. And we do that so every. How did, uh, how did Brother Morton get this idol? The fisherman Mark found it as he was throwing his, his his nets, and he didn't know what it was, so he was concerned. So he took it to the smartest guy in town at the time, which was the cleric, and it turned so, the cleric. So I wonder why his ghost was looking for it there in the um, ocean if he knew he'd given it to Brother Morton. Yeah. Um, let's see, close, when the PCs first get to him, he, um, he just goes, PCs have been to chapel, go after the meeting where may realize the skeleton laid out before the altar is his, the skeleton of the calendar reminded how that Mark suddenly realizes he's been dead for years. Um, that's a good question. I know it's somewhere. Let me look at some of the backstory. Cause zombies are stupid. No, well, he's has just to a do ghost. With dying and sure losing enough. your memory, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The ghost. Yeah, I think he just because he caused the cause of the curse. Maybe it was traumatic. I'm, there's more information there uh, about Ellison and and his deal. Um, but then, yeah, the priest was affected by it, and so then he bloated out and died. You know, and then was basically he brought it out at dusk, put it on the altar, rang the bell, which summoned all the skeletons. And as long as you, as and the, and the altar was consecrated, and that was what was keeping the skeletons out of the church, as long as you didn't break the altar, had you shattered the altar, then they started piling in, and that's why Richard couldn't go in either because of the consecration, and no undead could cross over except for the cleric because he was already inside, and the a skeleton that was in there, Ellison's skeleton couldn't because it was already in there, but I, I y'all took it out and I forgot it was supposed to come to life in your bag when y'all took it out for a while. <laughs> and I totally missed that. And I had, it should have, it was going to regenerate itself and start to come to life on y'all. Um, but as soon as you stepped inside the chapel, no matter what it was, the idol activated the skeletons. That's why they all started surrounding the church. As soon as you came inside, it was trying to protect itself and it called them all the idol controlled everything. And so that was your reasons of what was happening at the time. Da, da, da. And the borrow mounds were just up there and they, they had the mold, which is what set off the, un, some of the undead in here, but it had nothing to do with the curse. The idol had been floating, been underwater for a long, long time. So ta-da, not bad. Well, I liked it. It Not was bad. Yeah, good thing. game. Not mm -hmm. bad at all. All right. Well, we'll end it there, folks. I want to thank 
all three, five of y'all, I really appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I was hoping it was going to be enjoyable. I, I, after reading, like I said, it was enough there. And I was glad that I reached out to um, Goblinstone to do the conversion because it was worth it. And they've got another one I want to chat with them about that's already been out called The Banquet of the Dead, which I don't believe that's been out for a while in the guild for role playing, but not for fantasy ground. So I'm going to see if we can work out something there. Plus do some more of theirs as they develop new content. But anyway, so the rest of the viewers, thanks for watching. Those that are sticking around. Don't forget, uh, tomorrow night we've got the ladies, Force Majeure. Uh, and then um, the giveaways end August. I will be taking the week of the 17th off completely for a whole week um, to just to regenerate, regroup, get my thoughts together, and then be prepared for the giveaway. So until tomorrow night, everybody be good. And once again, to the five of you, thanks for playing. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, and we're out for the night. Take care. Thanks, Steph. Thanks, Thanks Steph. You, sir. Appreciate it a lot.